Hello and welcome back to another History of Overwatch. It is time for the San Francisco Shock Revenge Story. We're going to be watching the Stage 2 Finals between the Vancouver Titans and the San Francisco Shock. Uh, we're going to give you a quick TLDR of the, C of the stage like we had just done in Stage 1 because I think it's really good to know sort of where we were. Um, so here we see the standings for, this, uh, for these uh, Stage 2. The most important thing to note here is that Shock are very, very angry about losing Stage 1. And their response was to go plus 28 in the stage, which means they did not drop a single, uh, single map. They didn't drop a single map in Stage 2, making it to these finals. So, uh, the Vancouver Titans, though, standing very closely behind them with a plus 22 map score, only losing three maps with it, uh, throughout the entire stage. So, in reality, where this is just a Vancouver Titans and San Francisco Shock League that everyone else is existing in and trying their hardest. So, let's talk about the teams that were trying their hardest. We got the Houston Outlaws. Liz, look away. At a respectable 0-7, minus 20. Okay, and I, I want to defend their Los Angeles Valiant because you're at my channel and I'm going to defend myself at all costs. Everyone was like, oh my god, the Los Angeles Valiant are the worst team in the world. They went 0-7. We went 0-7 with a minus 9 map score. We only lost 9 more maps than we, uh, than we won. We were actually very close 0-7. Okay? The Houston Outlaws went minus 20. In 28 games, they, well, so probably 28 maps, they went minus 20. Valiant sucked. The Houston Outlaws were hot doo-doo. Houston Outlaws really struggled to get a handle on GOATS. Uh, in this stage, I think they had a pretty hard schedule. If I, I, I will give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm pretty sure they had a hard schedule. I think they played against Shock and they played against um, Vancouver in this one. I can't see it all exactly right here. But here are the games if you're interested and you want to pause and go have a look at all of them. Um, but I'm pretty sure it, it, was, it was a hard schedule. Uh, Florida Mayhem. They, 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 this is like peak... Peak struggle town for the Florida Mayhem. Because at least in season one, they were, they were a funny meme and they had good walkouts and we could call them McDonald's. This is, this is a depressing version of the Florida Mayhem. Also went 0-7, joined the club with the Houston Outlaws and the Los Angeles Valiant of sucking for a stage. Uh, Washington Justice also being quite poor. All of these other teams around the middle, you know, it's the same shit, different story. Uh, Los Angeles Valiant, we got a couple of wins on the board. Uh, Toronto, Paris, Guangzhou, all pretty meh. Boston, pretty meh. Atlanta, Rain becoming the gatekeepers for which they be, became known for for the next couple of seasons. Philadelphia Fusion contri continuously struggling in the GOATS era. Chengdu Hunters doing Chengdu stuff. I'm pretty sure this is close to the time that Chengdu just gave up on playing GOATS. Like, they'd just given up. And they sort of like following the Sh uh, Shanghai Dragons lead of just trying to play their own style, play with the Wrecking Ball, play with the Farah, just sort of getting a little funky and a little wild uh, in the GOATS meta, understanding that they were never going to catch up to these other teams playing this style. So Shanghai Dragons are a really interesting one, and we'll talk more about them in Stage 3, Eyes Emoji, because they begin to start getting their footing as a very, very good team. Dallas Fuel are doing it for the first time in probably ever. They went 5-2. and two. They had a pretty uh, solid schedule. And they got some really good wins. Uh, this was the stage of the Dallas homestand, which you guys might remember. Fun fact, if you weren't around for that time, for the first match of the first day of the Dallas the homestand, the power went out in Dallas, in like the stadium area. Apparently a balloon flew into like a breaker and it turned off... The entire power of the entire stadium and everything around it, like the hotel we were staying in, also went out. It was, it was wild. But hey, our fans are resilient. The the homestand went on, and it was, I think, probably the most successful homestand to ever happen at this point, right? It was, it was honestly incredible. I was there. You know, we played. We went zero and two. We were depressed at this man at uh, this homestand. We lost the soul. We got bodied by Dallas, and we weren't happy about it. Um, but yeah, it was a, it, it was a really cool moment, um, and a really cool homestand. Um, yeah, and that's kind of it for the summary. Oh yeah, London Spitfire actually got their stuff together, but then, you know, fell apart. I think they had a really easy schedule as well, uh, potentially. 
But yeah, London Spitfire went six and one and Gladiators solid as always. So as I said earlier, this is just a shock versus Titans world and we're living in it. So let's get to the main story. We're going to look at the Vancouver Titans taking on the San Francisco shock. Obviously the shock got uh, lost in a 4-3 banger series on the uh, on the first day on the first stage. All right, let's let's see the video. We got to watch the hype video. And we got a special behind the scenes peek inside the comms from the last time these two juggernauts went head to head. I might get DMCA'd for this. If the if the if <laughs> if the video goes really quiet on the YouTube, I got DMCA'd and copyright struck, and I had to mute it. Good luck. There is a special spot in the book. Of this is the comms, history okay? History for champions here in the Overwatch League. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. The Vancouver Titans. Look at these ugly sloppy <laughs> players. Super. They're definitely scared of us. Yeah, hundred percent. I know they are. They look like they have so much more confidence. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, this is like, and I wanna, I wanna highlight, right? They just went twenty-eight and zero in maps in stage two. The shock confidence is going through the roof and the confidence of the San Francisco shock goes on to become one of their biggest strengths is they know that they can't lose. They were just better. Look at this man. You think this man's going to lose any Overwatch after that stage? He's about to murder somebody and Sh Moth's going to hold him back, but he looks like he's going to murder someone and it's the Vancouver Titans. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Let's go, boys. Hey. Make some noise as we head into our stage one final. We suck at that map, it's okay. W plus confidence plus ego plus super tier. That's our worst map and we won. Let's go. Okay, okay. Now, the kings of the jungle have to assert themselves. Show, 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 show. Okay, show. We're so much better. Let's go. Is this where it ends? Is this where the shock? So much better. Okay, It all ends here on Rialto. Oh, that's right. Something we actually didn't talk about um in the last stage and is still uh going on this streak is still going on going into this match the vancouver titans haven't lost a match in like what what did it get up to it was like 25 series because it, it this is they were run away before the vancouver titans as well um it was something like it was like over a year it was like almost like over a year before they the last time as a squad they lost a match it was like 25 series or something crazy like that um, and it, that's what made the Titans so dominant is like they just didn't lose. So Valiant, no, that was a regular season loss. They they, they lose to the shock uh, before the. Dude, they're so excited. That was a haymaker of a round. The shock, they only have one minute. One minute on this map. We can still win, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, I believe. Really, I believe. Really, I believe. Don't be scared, guys. <laughs> This is just a first point hold. Yeah, That's yeah. all this is. That's just a full hold. Now we know what the Titans need to do. It's simple. <laughs> and the Vancouver Titans take what was promised to them. Your stage one champions. Oh, GG. Swaggers. Like Psycaster is a part of the team. <laughs> good job, team. Good job, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me go back. Good job, team. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. High fives. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job, Sinatra. Yeah, yeah. We're popping off, right? All of us San Francisco Shock players really owning. Rascal, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your brig and bap? Nah, not as good as mine. Swaggers. Oh. I'm about to start crying, bro. Good job, everyone. I'm yeah. really proud of you guys. Good job. <laughs> Who did Custer take I over? Rascal. These two teams are on the mic, and I gotta say uh, that was probably one of the. Let's get the walkout goals. going. That's right. I mean, this this win. Okay. Ready? All right. One. It's out of the way. Vancouver. So. We we'll get the walkouts going. 
Oh. Oh, this... Why are we walking out of the side? Because we did start walking out the side, but usually when we walked out of the side is because there was no crowd and they didn't want to show the crowd. That was usually why we walked out of the side is because if you did it from the back, you literally just saw empty chairs and it looked worse. Back when they were in Korea playing under a different team name. Yeah, that's right. I mean, this, this win streak has gone on for nearly a year now, yeah. and which is... Alright, oh, it's Vancouver Titans. What? How did that happen so fast? Those empty chairs are very noticeable, yeah. I don't remember it being that crowded. It could have been one of those weird days. Like, we had days where it was like Monday. Like, it was like a, it was like a Thursday at like 3 p.m. It's like, who's gonna, who's watching these games? This team is also undefeated in stage two and maps, but they also didn't drop a map the entire time. Not many Titans fans in LA, yeah. And it's like, Titans were a great team, but like a lot of people, you know, didn't like, um, didn't like attach to the team as much as others did. Like the only real like major fans that they have were people who are fans of Runaway, which was a lot of people, but a lot of very small uh, teams. And people, most of the people at the Blizzard Arena already had favorite teams, right? Like, this is season two, Vancouver came in late. Not a single map drop is crazy, yeah. So, we're gonna get into it. Um, so we're in peak go to this point. I'm pretty sure both teams are purely playing Zen Brig. I, th I don't know if San Francisco Shock had started pulling out the Baptiste, Rascal Baptiste yet, but here we are. Uh, one second, let me move my, move my cam over here as well. San Francisco rushing to the point first here. They're going to try to zone the Titans out a little bit as the point unlocks in about 12 seconds here. Yeah, you can see right now... Is Bap even out? I can't exactly remember. I thought he came out in season two, right? Ooh. Damn, they just... I felt like they just had more positioning. And Soman Su is just beaming, dude. Now you're going to see the first control taken here by the Titans and that percenting starting to accrue. Right, and as they build their control, it was very quick, yeah, yeah. Back to yesterday and, and Titans match again against New York. And one of the criticisms with them, you and I were talking about this earlier, was that Solomon Sue was a little bit out of a uh, And now he does? Yeah, well, Violet was terrifying. Like, Violet's dominance on Zen is, like, something that... Why people consider him one of the best uh, flex supports of all time. His, his dominance on Zen Goats was just crazy. He just did so much damage and charged so fast. Twilight was one of the few people who could actually charge with supers so in, in so much trouble. And they, like you, you're, you're all, you should already start to see the things that we talked about last time. We talked about the goats first goats matchup, right? The Zai is taking the off angle, right? So Min Su has the best angle in the house. Their entire team plays over here, but So Min Su is playing on the off angle, so he can play around the shield of Super. Um, the problem that happens is you're like, why don't they just shoot So Min Su? Is that if they try and turn on So Min Su? Bumper gets freedom to walk forward, and they have so much defensive capabilities with Brig Packs, with D.Va coming over, with Zen Orb, that it became really hard to punish the off-angling uh, Zaya. And they see, like, Choi just loses mech for free, right? And Soman Su's already 50% to another grab. Super gets a good pin on Huxel, though. Bash was a little late. Are the brig changes this stage? Uh, you can still no longer bash through, uh, through shields anymore. I'm pretty sure that's the only change that is currently in it. Couldn't punish, but Super dies because he had to hold a shield towards the bomb. Slimes down, though. Shock should be able to get this cap. Though so you couldn't say soon, no. You, in Overwatch League, I don't think you could ever bash through shields. I'm pretty sure it was patched before going into the league. No ultimates available for the Titans, and they did buy some time with that Graviton Surge, so not a complete waste. All right, Vancouver literally used everything. Twilight needs to get to this Transcendence if they're going to even get close in this fight. Now it's going to be a retake opportunity here for the Titans. They are poking. They're trying to... Oh, Super! Man, Super just got a little bit too far ahead. It was an easy pickup for the Titans. Oh, Bumper goes down as well. Yeah, this should just be it. That's a lot of healing gone for Shock. It's going to be... Vancouver with the advantage for the rest of this fight. Remember Dallas point the bash combo? Uh, you might be thinking of season one. He's got the healing. Because Brig was in in season one with the right with the thing. I am almost certain that the bash shadow combo was not in in the Overwatch League. Kept them safe during the grab, but I don't know, man. I, I'm not going to say 100%, but I'm pretty sure. Look at this flank by Sinatra. He's literally just walking down the backside. Pushing forward again. It's a long protracted fight here. Joya Ben flees for his life. Shock need to really get bumper. If they don't get bumper, they're in trouble. Oh my god, he went to single digits. 
Well, that was a big fire strike as well. Oh! Oh, Hawksall goes down as well. He wants this shadow. Dude, Sinatra's just existing in the back line. Sinatra has another grab, dude. Sinatra and Soman Su were so good at this Zaya. Like, I think this confidence by Sinatra is really what put them to that next level, right? Yeah, and they get Hawksall again. That was a really bad shadow by Bumper. I guess he was hoping to get the Zen. Oh, this is pretty good by them. Oh, Bumper dies in that? No way. Titans have just had a hard time keeping that Reinhardt alive, and they might have to give up this point. Gonna be 95%. So close for the Shock to take this first round. Yeah, there's gonna be a Lucio back capping right here. Can he get to the No, he's not gonna get there. Good boot by Moth. Yeah, Ryan Shadow and Current State would be crazy in goats. Oh yeah, if it, if it had the 250 damage um, Shadow, it would be it would be super broken because you could just one shot so many of the supports. Yeah. Well, that was just a great round from the San Francisco Shock, and you saw both teams kind of playing their game plan of mostly separating that Reinhardt, separating the big main tank away from the rest of the team, eliminating him early. Shock grab Shadow, yeah, grab Shadow. It would just instigate because Transcendence was by far the most important thing for the Gravitons, right? It was always a race of who could get the tra uh, the gravel, the Transcendence first. Uh, offense and defense wise so that you could just like sustain throughout the grab because like beat doesn't save you through a grab right there's just too much damage rally helped but it wasn't good enough also yesterday we did see the titans drop the first points the nyxl before coming back and winning control two to one here the shock lose a map they do lose a map in this series the uh the series goes to four two that's right probably shouldn't have given the spoilers but you know if you don't know at this point you, you should know Oh, dangerous by Moth. But Titans got to the point, and getting getting the point first was always the most important thing in Goats. If you had the point, like, because the fights lasted so long, if you get the cap cap, then, like, the, you can win 50% of the point charge before the fight even ends. Even if, like, Shock, Shock win this fight, Vancouver's winning as the fight goes longer. That was a fast transcendence. Holy crap. I guess Twilight's got one as well. So Twilight's got his later, but they actually stacked Rally and Transcendence, which isn't very good. Ooh, bash. Good bash by uh, Rascal on the Shadow. Oh, Isolate Bumper on the grab. Yeah, good smart play. Oh! I, yeah, I don't, think that, I don't think that grab by Sinatra was that good. Slime gets the beat before Moth. Oh, Moth goes down. Like, it's all about Knife's Edge, right? Like, it's all about getting your ultimate faster and faster and faster, right? Like, maybe if Moth got his beat a little bit faster, they could have won that fight. Um, look at this, though. Look at the ult charge. Sinatra just grabbed Bumper at 50%. Violet's at 86, 91% to another Transcendence. And he used that, like, just before. That's so much damage. Somebody dies, but both of these teams play very well when they lose a member from behind, and that's what we saw with the shock in that last point was that even if Super dies first, so stupid, yeah. And uh, this goes back to they they end up uh, across the board nerfing alt charge around the time of goats because obviously when you have a brawl, people get their ults faster, but I think they they nerfed it by about twenty percent somewhere along the line. I can't remember exactly when it happened. Bumper goes down. Good aggression by the shock. Yeah, I feel like they needed to. I feel like the Titans should have known that the shock had beat, and that if they play too aggressive, that the shock were just going to beat engage, right? And shock have five ultimates to hold this as well. This is going to be hard for the Titans because they used um, they used the rally in that fight. Otherwise, if they fought that straight up, they probably would have lost. So a bit of a hail mary there. Yeah. From bumper, now they're going to come back. Might have been twenty five. No, it's twenty five percent discord, I believe. I don't. Th I think thirty percent was a long time ago. Grab D bomb. Troy throws the D bomb to counter the grab. Oh, good chatter. Oh, good grab. Oh, good Diva Bomb to counter the grab. Dude, this is literally... Oh, Sinatra's just doing so much work, yeah. Losing that charge is kind of a big deal, though, for Sinatra. Yeah, Titans are in trouble. Everyone just blew their loads right there. No one has any ults. Uh, or cut Violet will probably get the transcendence first, which is going to make it harder for the Titans to get this control. Old bank empty, yeah, for now. As he said, just wait. Watch Violet's old charge. Look at it. Look at this number go up. 
69, 70, 73, 75. He's going to have a transcendence before you know it. He, they're, they're probably just going to give the point and then trank back in. There he goes. He's got the transcendence. That's how fast you get it, right? Like, just boom, transcendence, enter, enter engage. And everyone's getting ult bags first. Like, everyone just poked for a little bit. Now everyone has their ultimates. Look at how many ults are coming offline. Shock is just a little bit behind. <sighs> Beat was a little bit late to save Rascal. So Nacho should get a grab here, though. If he can get the grab after... If he if they can live to get a grab, they can win this fight. <sighs> Diva Bomb? Oh, I think that might have been a throw by Shock. They threw so many ults trying to save that fight. They should have just given it. Because the Titans used the Rally, the Transcendence, and the Beat to try to like earlier to win that fight, if the Shock had just given up that fight, they would have came back with a massive ult bank. They would have traded the Transcendence for all three of those ults, and they would have just been able to come back. They lost the Q War. In Seagull terms of what we're saying, Vancouver used three support Qs. If Shock used one support Q, next time they come in with two Qs into San Vancouver Titans zero Qs. And two Qs is greater than zero Qs, so therefore San Francisco Shock would have had more Qs and won the fight. After a member of the Shock had already fallen, he had that, I mean, it was so close. It was very close. It was a matter of milliseconds if he would have been able to save Rascal. Big armor decays at this point? I don't believe it does. You might be right, but I don't think that's true. I didn't think it decayed all through goats. I could be wrong though. I don't know when the grab decay. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that grab at all. I don't know if anyone has the patch data for that. Oh, oh, good poop. That was a really good attempt by Slime. Let's watch that back because this is like one of the most important things that started evolving of the Diva Bomb into a boop as people try and hold. Like Slime comes in. Every time you see you see a div bomb, they go here. Boops, he almost gets him. Actually forces out Violet's transcendence. Violet gets scared of the boop and actually transcends because of that boop by Slime. So that's a big play. It's gonna be Violet jetting his way in there with the transcendence again, allowing the shock to be more aggressive with that extra healing here. Trying to jump onto Rascal, finish him off, and they do. Great pick off by the San Francisco Shock. They're fighting the 6v4 now. See, too many cues. With a kill on the super, but it looks like Shock might have what it takes to flip it. And just in time. Oh, bumper, don't get yourself staggered. Oh, bumper, 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 bad bumper. That was so bad by Bumper. He should have jumped off. He's going to be so late to this party. Oh, he's going to grab. That's a, such a smart grab by Sinatra. Make it so they can't go through the window. All right, first map to the San Francisco Shock. Easy clap. Fantastic first map for the San Francisco Shock. Great play at the end of that by Rascal just to keep the enemy Brigida out of the door. Quick break, and when we come back, we'll see if the Titans can tie things up. Game that he th thought that one of the reasons why they won was that uh, he was good cues, good amount of cues. Gave them opportunities. I disagreed well, with that when he said it. Bumper I, thing to say, I disagree. Giving the shock fans more of a reason. To be well, the thing is, fans shock fans were pretentious at this point. Shock fans only became pretentious after winning two seasons in a row. They just they just forgot what it felt like to lose. <laughs> projected barriers onto him Brigida armor packs and he's still going down early which if you're a shock fan at this point well actually no if you were a shock fan in stage one then you were you were legit you were a legit shock fan right if you became a shock fan after this stage or like beginning of stage two you're a fake set you're a fake shock fan it's been interesting you're just following success now has really been able to punish the Titans for bumper style of kind of being super aggro it's weird because he does tend to seem to die a lot i'm proud to say i was a dallas fuel fan during the time of winston fan if you lived through the time of winston phase as a dallas fuel fan i applaud you because i i left <laughs> i was not a fan and left so i am <laughs> Yo, Super Bowl. Nah, 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 nah. We don't do that here in, say, in Season 2. I was a Boston fan in Season 1, grew up since then. <laughs> You've seen shit. Alright, here we go. Good late bubble by Sinatra getting himself, getting him energy. Sinatra get oh, Hawks all overextended. The Hawks all has got caught a couple of times in this match already. Um, getting a little bit further ahead of bumper. Well, I think they're gonna have to try to fight a little bit. They're gonna lose more people on the way out, but 
just trying to disengage. They're gonna have to give this point up early. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, and speaking of yeah first, I remember this in season one, it, like in goats, you just never really charge right clicks. Like these days, you charge a lot of right clicks because you're just covering angles, right? It's like a lot of like peeking and snipers and all that kind of stuff. During goats, you just held left click, just just throw the orbs in their general direction and hope you hit the heads. And that would be the difference maker. And that first pick gives us a lot of information right there. Huge limb. How good was Sinatra? Sinatra was the best Zai. He was the MVP of the league. Absolutely, deservedly so in season two. Fall off on that projectiles that travel, so you can get picks from a long way away. Meanwhile, rally now. From Rascal as they walk in, Graviton Search comes in from the Titans, where the follow-up kills. Bumper tries to come through, doesn't get one with the charge. It's going to be the transcendence for the Titans. As the Titans are using everything a little bit later, so the Shock are going to run into trouble. Slime doesn't have the beef for this grab, though. Dude, Sinatra, that grab was so good by Sinatra. He managed to hold it through the, uh... Yeah, I feel like... I think the Titans may be getting a little ambitious with their support alts. So now the shock are doing a good job. It feels like let's do, let's go back and re review this because so shock walk in play aggressive. They use the transcendence first. So yeah, I don't like this grab by So Min Su because it's giving the San Francisco shock an out. Like San Francisco shock were already losing this fight. I think by grabbing like look at how, look at Super's health. The Titans are already winning this fight just in the neutral, right? Rascals rallied. If he saves it a little bit longer, like he could have potentially forced out Violet's transcendence early. But by using this grab, Violet can transcendence like they want to to counter the grab. And by using that grab, they can transcend and then they can play aggressive. Because they're able to play aggressive in their own transcendence, that's going to force Twilight's transcendence here. And Huxel rallies on top of that. So they rally and transcend at the same time, which obviously negates the fact. And then Sinatra recognizes this, walks, out, walks around. As soon as that transcendence is over, gets a big grab, and then all of a sudden they don't have a defensive ultimate to run it, right? So because Sumitsu used that grab first, I think that was, that was bad. And that's what led to the shock win. Yesterday is that they played a close match against the NYXL. The Shield Bash Shield was uh, implemented like the the undo of that. Yeah. Often throughout this season have talked about the Shock being an aggressive team. But if you look at the tape from these playoffs, they've been playing pretty passively overall. They was Goats better all season? Uh, yes. Until stage four when 2-2-2 two, two, two took over. Things Fire was just that powerful. I'll say it again. I'll say it again because I said it in the last history of Overwatch, but I think it's relevant. I think one of the main reasons that people moved away from goats in season three, like pure goats in season three, like as Valiant, we went to Sombra goats, bunch of Shanghai Dragons obviously started playing Farrah and that kind of stuff, is people knew that we weren't going to be playing goats in stage four or going into the playoffs for the future. So people realized that they just needed to win games. So a lot of teams started doing a lot of funky stuff just to win as many matches as they could. And like a prime example of that was the Los Angeles Valiant. We were the first team to beat Vancouver Titans in the regular season because we played Sombra Goats. And you just throw a curveball at them and hope it works because you got nothing else to lose, right? If you can't beat them, uh, you can't join them and fucking go wacky. Legitimately, right? Like, that's what a lot of teams do. And Shanghai Dragons, you know, fully embodied that as well. Tend to play an open ground and use a lot of resources early in I think in the long term, there is there is potential that Goats would have ended up being better than the Farrakhomps, and people just would have worked out how to beat the Farrakhomps. Big shout out by Bumper, by the way. Are we going to watch that game? Yeah, we're going to watch that game. February 2019, they changed the health stack with armor. Oh, so the armor goes onto the back half? I don't think that's true. I can't remember. One sec, we'll have a look. I'd have to have a look at when the armor. Patch notes? Wait, let me have a look at these patch notes just to see where we are in this. So... Fix the bug where... Previous, oh, okay, so shields, it goes, so it now goes, armor sh armor goes on top. So it does it still say permanently at this point? So when was this? February 19th. So, okay, so it wasn't stacking in that way, the way it was before. Interesting. Okay. It's worth noting. So, uh, for context of what that was, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, Wait, it's still stacking like this. I don't get it. The armor is still below his shields. 
bumper down anyway. I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that is. Maybe because Al, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, because the armor's going under Violet. There, you see that. Because that was one of the things that made Zen so strong. So I'm not exactly sure when it was patched out. I'm sorry, guys. Our own live is different patch. Yeah, but like, this would be like May by now, right? Like, like when did this when did this match happen? Sorry. June, like this is happening in June. There's no way we're still playing on a tournament client that was like four pa like four months behind. There's no way. Cause that patch was February, right? Yeah, this is back in February 2019. There's no way it lasted that long. I don't know. I actually don't have an answer to that question. You put armor on top? No, just put armor on the bottom. What do you mean? I literally just saw it go on the bottom. Yeah, like... Oh, the UI. Look at that. It's it's on the... It, the UI was not right. Interesting. Literally unplayable game. But yeah, it is actually going on top over here on the bottom left, but it's just showing up weird on the top. Trolled. Sumansu being a little bit more conservative with his self bubbles today. He did die a lot to self destructs yesterday uh, because he would use it early. I seem to remember teams having good success with triple or quad DPS versus goats. If 2 2 didn't get implemented, do you think counter goats meta might have evolved and been successful? So, Senor, I, 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 let me go on the point again just, just to really hit it home because I think a lot of people really don't under th like think about it. Think about it from this perspective. If teams started playing DPS, right? So let's say multiple teams started playing the Farrah comp that the Shanghai Dragons had success with in season three, right? In stage three, sorry. People would have worked out how to play against the Farrah because they would have more practice against it. The Shanghai Dragons biggest success point playing the Farrah Mercy is that nobody else played the game like they did. So it was very hard to practice against what the Shanghai Dragons were gonna do because the Farrah team has a lot of practice of playing against GOATs playing the Farrah Mercy comp, while the teams playing GOATs have very little practice against the Farrah comps. As soon as it, that's kind of like when GOATs first started becoming a thing, some teams had a lot of success playing things that weren't GOATs. It's because people didn't know how to play against it. But as things got more refined, as things got worked out, teams started being able to start countering it effectively. Maybe the DPS comps, triple DPS comps would have started like taking a little bit of traction on certain maps and they would have been better in the long term. But a part of me believes that the triple tank, triple support would have prevailed over time. Maybe Sombra Goats. Yeah, maybe Sombra Goats was just better than regular Goats. I think it still goes back to like, we tried Sombra Goats. Uh, a prime example of what we did. We played Sombra Goats in stage three. The Los Angeles Valiant were actually pretty good playing Sombra Goats. We got rolled by the San Francisco Shock because their counter to it was they played Bap Goats. And what happened is it became really hard for us to fight them. Um, and we literally just had no answer. Obviously, San Francisco Shock were better than us as a team, but Sombra Goats just could not touch anything to do with the San Francisco Shock because of how good they played Goats. So the answer is we don't actually, we won't ever actually know the true answer of what it is, but I. I believe that GOATS would have stuck around for a lot longer. And the only reason we saw teams moving away from this GOAT style was because they knew implementation of 222 was coming in stage four. So there was no necessary reason to be good at GOATS. Now, they do have that Graviton Surge available. However, Titans have the same. And Titans can play aggressively. They have the rally to get everyone on their team armor from the Brigida Ultimate. Right. Titans using that Brigida Ultimate. Right oh, that's a good grab. Oh, Somensu gets caught in the front. They just didn't have a transcendence. Sinatra is just charging him too fast. Dude, Sinat look at Sinatra beaming that D.Va. He just got like 35% ult charge off of the Janu. Because he isolated him. Oh, the classic. They're not going to touch. Oh, good. They got the trance. That was big by, uh, by I think. But if you have to use your ultimates first, then you're in trouble, right? They can just go with transcendence whenever they need it. Yeah, they're just going to back up. Dude, Shock just looked better at this point on the GOATs. Here on King's Row, here on objectively the Titans' best map. Yeah, Sinatra really doing a number on Solomon Sue as well. 
having significantly more the the sombra replaced the diva in sombra guides because you need the zaya for the damage in the bubbles well the titans reeling we'll see if they can uh, measure up when we come back why was Titans good at GOATs and GOATs only? Well, they were good at other things. Like, they still made the grand finals in 20, uh, 2019, remember? Um, it, after 2-2-2 was implemented. Uh, but they were just, like, they were just so good at GOATs. Why, uh, it's important to remember that uh, Runaway had already started playing GOATs before the league had started in Contenders. I'm pretty sure they won a championship playing GOATs. Um, back in like November of 2018 or something like that. Was that the gauntlet? Why do I think they won the gauntlet? Did they win the gauntlet playing GOATs in 2018? Or am I... Or is that 20... As we tend to look at it might have been the goal style, bumper actually did the most damage on the Titans. Or well, maybe I'm misremembering. The issue with the way the Titans are playing right now, in that if you look at their playoffs, what they'll do is at the start of a fight, they'll use Somensu's bubble and Bumper will start They have like a mind meld from Runaway, yeah. Get Somensu energy and charges Bumper's As a tank player, Goats was always made more fun. Yeah, tank players are always going to say Goats was fun because tanks literally were super strong, right? Especially as a main tank, right? This was the most fun time ever to play main tank because you would just had so much power. Is the entire Titans roster here just that Runaway team? Yes. They literally promoted it. Um, there was rumors and there was conversation that in 2018, um, a bunch of these players wanted to make... They, they, they only, I think five of the players were eligible to go to the league, but none of them ended up signing contracts because they wanted to go to the league as a whole team and someone was underage. Was it Huxel? So they all stayed in contenders for the 2018 season and then came together in 2019 or something like that. I think it was Huxel who wasn't 18 yet can't win on their best map they are going to have a really rough time in this series it's starting to look like download complete man for the shock reading the titans we'll see if they can turn it around and then they employed it eventually yeah three minutes and 20 seconds in the time bank for the it's an ultra top 10 dps of all time <sighs> it's really hard to say that because obviously like it's hard to say Sinatra was a top 10 DPS of all time because he didn't really play in the league in 2018 that much and the team wasn't successful. And then 2019, he was obviously MVP. He was incredibly successful, one, the best player in the league in 2019, but he didn't play DPS that much, right? So it's like, it's like a really weird finicky thing to like give him that role. So I don't know. I think that would come up to personal preference. I would probably say yes, because I would consider Zaya to be a DPS of the season. I wouldn't put him number one, though. Like, I would... I would... Oh, would I put him in the list? I don't know. I don't know if I'd put him in the, in the list for top 10 DPS of all time. His Tracer was quite good. Yeah, but it wasn't the best, right? Like, oh, that was a good shadow by Bumper. That was the most Bumper shadow I've ever seen. Wait, they didn't kill Violet? I thought he killed Violet. Wait, what? Oh, did Super just miss the president? This... Excuse me? Look at this. He's pinning. Moth boops him. Super counter pins. Takes the pin. Oh, actually, Violet actually got the bubble as well. So Super didn't even need to do get down, Mr. President. Because Sinatra bu bubbled Violet anyway. But Sinatra, Super gets pinned instead of Violet. So then Violet gets the transcendence off. The hero we need but don't deserve. Not all heroes wear capes, Mr. Super. Now that's some pill, yeah. And people ask why Sur the shock was so good. That's why. Violet gets shattered and literally everyone turns to save his life. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work out this time. But it's still not enough. Bumper goes down, but the Titans still with the numbers advantage on the point. Meanwhile, you want Super? No, no one ever. I, anyone who says Super is not a good main tank is just wrong. Super is a great main tank. Is he number one? Probably not. <laughs> but he is still one of the best main tanks to touch the game. His biggest, his his only weakness is the fact that he didn't play dive here is because they had Smurf on the roster. But that's not even his fault. But is he top three? It goes back to the same conversation that we always talk about of Super has only ever been hyper successful playing Reinhardt and then obviously Summer Rissa. 
So it's like, can you put him in top three? It's the same thing of Sinatra of like, they don't have, they haven't had as many deep seasons in, under their belt, right? Yeah, like th th the reality is top lists don't really make sense in a six man team Overwatch. They're fun to do, but they're very up to interpretation. Oh, that's a good shout out. Transcendence was enormous by Twilight though. Violet's gonna get the Transcendence though. Oh, Super goes down before the Transcendence. Super playing Pig, yeah. Like, Super plays like some Roadhog and stuff like that. And Genji, I guess, if you want to give him that as well. But it, it's hard to say. It's just for fun, yeah. Like, is Super top three tanks and goats? Oh, yeah. Super was the best Reinhardt in goats. Like, straight up. Like, you can't argue with that. But I think you do need to talk between metas and that kind of stuff. All time becomes very finicky. It's also hard. Being in the best in Season 4 needs to have more weight in Season 2. And that just becomes the disagreement that all these, like, plat chat lists have, right? Is, I don't agree with that. We're doing an all-time list. Why does them being better in stage uh, Season 4 matter? in an all-time list that doesn't even make sense but that you ask a vast he agrees with you right they are just getting bullied the goat snow snowball is real shock don't want to go first here oh Oh, is this the one that got shot through the floor? So... <laughs> if you've never thrown a grab down here, you're the lucky one. So if you have- if you aren't aware, there's actually a gap in this little, like, railing here. There's actually a gap in the floor that you can shoot through. <laughs> That's where So Min Shu shot it through. So Choi Hyobin thought he missed the grab. And didn't eat it, so he actually threw his diva bomb to defend against the grab. But <laughs> and there was a rally. That was everyone's very confused right now. Because I'm pretty sure grab eats were showing on the UI at this point, right? I think we saw one earlier. And as there, as Monty just uh, Doa just said. Divas getting the high ground, right? This was another big thing that started happening. Divas just started taking the close high ground because they knew that they could, like, it was hard for people to deal with them. Dude, Shock's got nothing left. Shock are dead in the water here. So I mean, Sue's gonna get a grab. Yeah. Honestly, that grab bait was genius by So Min Su. Good job. <laughs> I wonder if they'll show the replay. I want to see the replay of it. The shock accomplished with still over three minutes, which is great. Yeah, about 10 seconds less. Can't believe they haven't added it. Yeah, it is surprising that they didn't follow that. Wait, show me the. Oh, oh there it is. Uh, here we go. <laughs> there you go. A video example of what I was just talking about. Tragedy. You can tell this is an OSHA approved factory. True. And we'll see what they can get done. San Francisco Shock gave up point A pretty quick after they lost Rapsal. And that, like, that, that point was just like, like, this is a prime example of how snowball-y goats is, right? If you, if you, and this is why good teams were way better than average teams, is because if you mess with your economy even a little bit, you drop the ball, you waste a couple of ultimates, it literally, the whole map gets away from you because all of a sudden they can start cycling ultimates and you really need to have good presence of mind to just accept that you're going to lose a couple of fights because you don't, you've like messed up your economy completely. Oh, Rascal gets caught. A part of me thinks that Brig was one of the hardest heroes to play in GOATS because I feel like it was so hard to get such good value without feeding. 
Like, how many times in this series have we seen Rascal and Hawksall feed? Oh, good shot. How does Super get away with that one? How does he just walk in and shatter? Uh, he just... Was that a... Did he see a fire strike by Bumper and shatter? Yeah, he sees the, he sees Bumper go for the fire strike and just shatters. MTD, baby. That is a bit of a different story. Now Super comes back in with the big Earth Shatter. They've got Violet's Transcendence to set up the rest of these kills. They will get a little bit... Remember the Ahan Brig? Yeah. I think, like, Brig was one of those very heavily underrated of how difficult it was to play Brig because it was so easy to feed playing Brig. It was so easy. And you it was all about keeping Inspire uptime, right? So it was a lot about just, like, making sure you're getting hit. So you did need to play aggressive. Because, oh, there you go. Oh, that, look at this grab by Sinatra. Look at this nine head grab. Rascal gets pinned out by Bumper. By Sinatra grabbing Bumper, it saves Rascal from getting pinned into the wall. He still dies anyway because Twilight's a boss. But it was, the, that's what people talk about when we say the little things in Goats. That, that, it was all the little interactions, all the little saving plays, all the little things to get help of teammates that like made te teams and players the best. So he is going to have to back off right there. They really wanted to kill Sinatra because every time you deal damage to his Zarya barrier, you increase the amount of energy the Zarya has, which increases her damage up to 100% additional. Right. So if you can stop that, if you can kill her, reset her energy, that becomes a huge point of lowering the damage output of the enemy team. It's big. Definitely. Oh, Lord, it's these teams. <laughs> A different story than we saw. All right, rally engage. Probably coming in from the San Francisco Shock. Choke. This is where you want to defend first if you're the uh, well defender. That's right because you have the cover and you force them to walk through. They don't want to use it first. For an opportunity to throw out that mecha suit for a self destruct. Here it comes. All right. No, Brick could never combo kill a 200 HP character. They could uh they could one shot a um a tracer, a 100 HP target. I'm pretty sure they still could. Yeah. Or oh, they stack over the support ultimates. That was pretty bad by the Vancouver Titans. They do get super though, so it doesn't matter. That could have ended poorly though. Oh my god, ult particle energy. Yeah. And now we've only got 15 seconds left, Doa, which means we're going to go to overtime. They must have a player on the payload on that cart. Yeah, so that's something that a lot of Zayas started doing towards the end of Goats, where Zayas would use their personal bubble to split off the Transcendence or the Beats from everyone else. Because it counted as LOS. For the other team, knowing where yeah. the enemy players are going to be. Can't let that overtime bar at the top of the screen drop. If it does, your round is over. Super. Kind of Big slam. Like we see him do a lot of times. All they need to do is just knock the tight. He saw the Zayus bubble. Off, but that's about it. Oh, good counter pin. Got him kill though. That that was on Rascal right there. That was Rascal's fault that they lost this fight. Got a little bit too aggressive. Gets shattered by the run. There's no limit. How does Rascal have Rally again? You get Rally stupid fast if you keep Inspire up time up. Like, if you're winning a fight, like, what? let's watch Rascal's um, ult charge here. Let's assume that there's going to be somewhat of a close fight. Actually, they're about to get run over, actually. But they're going to get transcendent, so... This is why people said Overwatch was hard for viewers. A lot of people hate... Like, a lot of people stop watching Overwatch. As much as we like to talk about how it was a cool thing... Oh, that's a good kill on the... Tw How does... Twilight... Oh, the Shatter. Oh, the Shatter by Super gets... How does that get Twilight? How does this happen? Oh, that's... This is the double-edged sword of Bumper. Look what Bumper goes for here. He. This is like 100% on Bumper. He jumps behind Super to try and pin him out. But he just gets his entire backline shattered. Like, that is 100% on Bumper of why they lost this team fight. Oh, and this pit was the death. Uh, like, this, the number of times Lucio's booped people into the pit here was crazy. Right here, right now. 
Yeah, that's where it's going to end. So a great push for the Titans. They don't get it all the way, but hey, man, in overtime... With the this is one of my friends. A lot of people... People like to... Sorry, as I was saying, a lot of people like to say that Goats was one of their favorite metas and that it was interesting. A lot of other people will say, Goats is the reason I stopped watching Overwatch and I never came back because it just... It was so brutal to watch if you didn't care about the intricacies or the cool complexities of the game, right? Like, people were just like, it's boring. It's just people running at each other. Goats was sad and yeah and like Goats was also awful to watch like as we said San Francisco Shock won 28 maps in a row in no other meta would that ever be possible where a team could win 28 maps and you know what most of those 28 maps were not even close because like if you were better than another team in Goats the game was just boring the game was just over it didn't matter it was boring Bad Goats was incredibly boring to watch. Oh, slime. Look at this Zaya. Like, this is what it was, right? Like, everyone's just trying to farm as many ults as they can. Oh, Sinatra's in trouble. Nice trank. They had, I think they had to trank that by Violet, but now they're in such a bad spot. Yeah. They're like, literally, that was... Oh, yeah, there it goes. Um, that was on Sinatra. He, got a, he just got a, took a little bit too much damage. Are we going to watch Bad Goats? I don't want to watch Bad Goats, as I said. Maybe we'll watch a map of Bad Goats at some point. We show a map of bad goats, yeah. Liz, are you able to get me the Washington London map, the Busan map that we're all thinking of? Can you get me that timestamp and we'll watch it at the end of this map, at the end of this match? Let's get, let's get, let's get a historically bad. Oh, nice block by Super. Good beat. Oh, hot tail down. Nice shadow by Super. Super is straight up diffing bumper right now in this series. Was the London Washington? Are you talking the one where they like full held them in their spawn? And if so, the answer was no. That wasn't goats. Fisher on Titans? Yeah, he's on the Glads. Uh, Fisher is on... Soul Dynasty right now. He is about to go fucking sicko mode and leak 222 to the world. Because Soul sucked booty and he got really upset and decided to retire and then just leak all the NDA stuff he had got told. Oh, that was such a troll to go in that room. They need to hope Twilight gets this transcendence. Bumper through by going in that room. There's no reason he goes in that room. Man was wild, yeah. We need someone like that for Overwatch too. We need someone to fall on the sword. <laughs> Super, you have a successful stream. Fall on the sword. Retire. Tell us when Overwatch 2 is coming out, please. Is Fisher the reason we have so few Overwatch 2 details? Nah, not really. It's why the players don't get told as much, I think, these days, probably. Oh, they got that transcendence out way too early. Oh, they're gonna keep Violet alive. Oh, good grab. Oh, yeah, that's a pop. I didn't watch our season two and season three, so I just learned LH Cloudy was an owl. What was the big draw around him leaving? I just heard about. We're talking about Fisher. You're talking about LH Cloudy. LH Cloudy was on the Gladiators in season. Yeah, the Gladiators in season three, but LH Cloudy 
didn't play behind OGE. Like, OG, LH Gladi was very truly a Reinhardt one trick. The only times it, he played in OW, the Gladiators just forced Rush <laughs> and ran at teams. And, you know, obviously LH Gladi's a great Ryan, but OG was the mainstay player for that team. But OG is another player who had a very chaotic career in terms of, oh God, <laughs> who's ready to watch Paris? <laughs> History of Overwatch. We haven't followed Paris yet this whole time. Everybody, we are all tied up. All right, let's let's go, baby. If you've never watched Paris before, you are one of the lucky ones. This map is the worst designed map by such a long shot. The second point isn't completely awful it's pretty awful but it's not completely awful like because teams could just sit up here and it's just such a weird point but the first point is like you, i don't even understand like if you i feel like it's map developer 101 but literally this is the only choke that you can go through literally the only way and before they had they also didn't have this little doorway at the beginning if i remember correctly this was the only way to get in through the into this point there is a hole in the top right which a pharaoh could go over <laughs> but that's it the, you you had to walk through this choke and they've given the defense a high ground with cover to stand behind <laughs> Yeah, like, it wouldn't be as bad if they didn't have this cover. If they removed this cover, it wouldn't be as bad because at least both teams are quite exposed. But they literally give them natural cover. It was... I don't know. I don't know. It's It was so bad. So you saw a lot of full holds because it was just impossible to get through the choke. But Sim didn't have TP. Well, Sim did have TP, but the problem with the Sim TP is where are you going to TP to? The left? If you run through this left, there's another choke that you have to run through. So what a lot of teams did... It was... The reality was a lot of teams did this, right? Where they would run into this room and then it was like a 50-50 of like, which door are they going to go out? But once again, they have a defensive high ground. So everyone just gets stuck in the room. And then when you try, try and make... The, oh, wow, I actually don't know why Vancouver didn't go. It feels like Vancouver is giving a lot of space here. I don't know why Vancouver gave so much space. They're playing Winston Goats, actually. The Winston Goats. Woats. I don't know why they're playing the Winston Goats. It feels like they have to give a lot of space. I guess Bumper's getting a lot of ult charge, but... Thank you. Yeah, I don't really understand the context behind why they're doing this. I guess they're going to get Primal and he's going to Primal them off the point, but Sinatra's going to get a grab? Troy loses mech. There's the grab. Bumper missed the bubble, uh, bubble split. Sinatra's going to grab the bumper. So they don't get primal. All right, then we get another. Oh my god, nothing, nothing ever dies in Overwatch. Oh, good diva bomb by Janu. It should get bubbled. Oh, Moth gets got. I understand the idea. But it looks hilarious. Let's just watch this again. Big slam! It was a cool idea. The idea is that you assume when the bomb goes off, they're all going to run out the door, right? But that isn't what happened. Held to only two ticks, and they will not be setting a new record. And that was one fight where everone used 19 ults. Yeah. It's a Chad right move. <laughs> we are going to see it was a move. Up soon for both teams. Do we get to see Bumper Hanzo? All right, so Bumper goes to the Rhino. Do we get to see bum Bumzo? Do we get the Bumzo in this match? 
I don't think we do at this point. I feel like that was more of a meme against lower uh, bad teams. Good grab. That's such a good grab because it controls so much space. Look at what... That grab was genius, right? And because this grab forced Rally, Diva Bomb, and Transcendence because he just forced them to come forward. And then they just disengage, and now they have their own ults. Ra Huxel uses the rally, they run forward. Twilight gets his own transcendence, and now they're in such a good advantage, right? The shock are just gonna bleed out, probably here. Oh God, and then Bumper, yeah. Did Monty just growl at someone? Oh, Monty, calm down. It's not that kind of cost. On their next attack, things looking a little bit dire for the shock right now. Yeah, they're going to have one good attack left, and they have to play into the sound barrier. Yeah, that self destruct might have gotten moved. It might have gotten booped backwards there from Choi Hyobin. I'm surprised he didn't save it just a little bit. Is that a Johnny emo? To clear out the point. And now Shock in real trouble on a map that they were confident in that they picked here. Yeah, I looked over at the players right now, and Super looking really worried on that Shock stage at the moment serious face on him man they know they need to get something done right now super knows oh they're in oh the good shatter by super dude super is just making plays did bomb oh that bomb was bad good pin by rock bomba is very good at pinning rascal out of grabs i that is definitely something he is rolling and now the exit kills are gonna leave the shock with almost no time to come back on this do you want to know what the sad reality is? I'm like, oh man, Shock's going to get full held. It doesn't even matter because they got 95% all... The fact that they got 95% of the point is actually probably a good thing. And Moth has been playing very aggressively as he often does. He'll go up to the front and try and make plays. But every time that happens, the Titans are there to shut him down. He has died first a lot in these engagements. Oh, they're just going to run Super down, yeah. <laughs> There's been some questionable shatters on top of some good plays. There is no way you can win this one, and that is a monumental hold for the Vancouver Titans on a map that Shock selected. And Shock that should be illegal. Hey, they made it. It was such a bad map that they literally made it illegal to play this map. We saw Moth kind of struggling a bit more than we're used to. He's been a great player so far on the Shock this stage, but that map not looking so hot for him right now. I mean, the way Moth likes to play is. Bumpy's just the Korean LH Saudi, just an absolute madman, but a feed, but better. The other interesting hypothetical that's worth talking about is would Bumper have been successful or would he have been a throw if he played on any other team that wasn't the Vancouver Titans? If he didn't have the sheer amount of support that we expect from the Vancouver Titans, would he have been a good main tank? And I honestly don't know the answer to that question. You know, a lot of people predicting the shock to win today. I, I personally predicted... Because we don't know the answer to that question. Obviously, he dominated on the Vancouver Titans and he was a very, very good main tank. But was he... Were, were a lot of his flaws covered up by the, the greatness of the Vancouver Titans? Don't all main tanks need support to shine? Well, it's the level of success you get, right? Obviously. But... Oh, the Bonzo! Yes! Okay. So this was the other thing. If you got a full held on on a map, you could come out with some crazy cheese and it would sometimes work. So this is what we got. This is what we're looking at here. So Han Bumper was famous for his Hanzo because his Hanzo was actually kind of filthy. He was actually really good at it. Uh, and it got it got coined the Bumzo. Um, and, but you would play this like quad... DPS stuff and you would just apply so much pressure that all you need to do is get a couple of kills and you just win You're gonna get an EMP. You're gonna get a visor. You're gonna get ults and it became really hard to just not die to things Because you know as we all know Farrah is oh Choi Oh no, and that's it like you just needed one a couple of things to go your way and you would just win But what, it doesn't work it, your old screw so the problem with these comps was that if the San Francisco Shock, they actually ended up playing Baptiste uh, Goats. Rascal would switch away from the Brig and play the Baptiste and it gave them a little bit of air superiority. And that's why you, it, not many teams could pull it off is you needed a really good DPS to play the Baptiste so that the 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 Baptiste could deal with the Farrah somewhat because everything else doesn't really deal with the Farrah very well. Um, 
But the problem with playing these quad DPS comps is that if the Sh San Francisco Shock win one fight and start getting an ultimate cycle up, this can look really ugly really fast. Because think about it, they have three defensive ultimates. If they get a rally up, they become unkillable. They get a transcendence, all of a sudden the barrage and the EMP become a hot, lot less valuable. They also have the beat to counter these EMPs. It could spiral out of control. And it was better for the first point of these two CP maps when you played these quad DPS because all you need is really one pick. And because your spawns are generally closer than the defensive spawns, you're, you're happy to trade one for one. While on the second point, these quad DPS comps don't work anywhere near as well because the Sanfra like the goats could out-sustain these quad DPS comps. And that's generally why they were only really played on first point two CP. And that's why they weren't generally played on other maps and stuff like that. And it goes back, and it's on to what I talked about, that if you don't start goats and then you try and switch into goats, you lose like three to four minutes just trying to get your old cycles into, into fruition. It's very hard to be in that situation. And I think there's a lot of questions as to why did the shock not pick Anubis, the assault map that they won in the last I think you're right, one shot Johnson. I agree that one of Bumper was a good player and if he was put in a situation where he didn't have this he didn't have the support of great teammates like those that existed on the Vancouver Titans, he probably would have adjusted his style and he probably would have been fine and a good main take nonetheless. But it's an interesting hypothetical to think about, right? Shock's map pick. They are down in this series. No, I think roll look is very important, Golden. And I don't think Overwatch 2 should ever remove roll lock. The game is stupid without roll lock and almost impossible to balance. And see who pushes it the farthest. So Shock on the attack now. It's gonna be the Reinhardt triple tank, triple support composition from both teams as we often see these days. And they've got super a little bit off on the side there. Dangerous times as the Zarya shields, those Zarya bubbles run out, but all right, map four, Vancouver Titans up 2-1. Watchpoint Gibraltar, as much as it seems counterintuitive to play GOATS, you, you just play GOATS. Um, because the high grounds just really didn't matter that much at this point. Oh, this is just a... How, how, let's, I want to go back and see how Shock just got away with this. It just feels like they just walked through this point. Felt like Titans just never stopped them. So, Shock on the attack now. It's going to be the Reinhardt triple tank, triple support composition from both teams as we often Looks see. like they fight. So they fight under? Off on the side there. Dangerous times as the Zarya shields, those Zarya bubbles run out. But Vancouver Titans giving a bit of ground here. Yeah, just as a note to our new viewers, the attack is generally favored because the payload itself gives healing to the attacking team. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit, but it is a nice advantage considering... That's definitely not the reason attack is favored. The healing of the cart is literally minuscule compared to, um, compared to like how much healing is coming out in goats. Uh, the reason attacks generally snowball is because of the way their ults functioned. Is that if you got an advantage, you would generally snowball through, right? This is this fight is a prime example that So Min Su gets low, their whole team has to back up, and because they lose that positioning, the San Francisco shot get an advantage. That's also the reason why in goats, it's not just an offend, uh, an attacker or a defensive advantage. It's generally whoever has control of the point, and the other team has to engage into them. Because if you are the one who has to engage, you generally are at a disadvantage because you need to use cooldowns first. Um, that's generally why there was so many snowballs. I don't think there was an attacking or a defending advantage. It was more about control. The card heals very minorly. I would say it's what? 10 healing a second? Which in, in how much healing is coming out in goats is nothing. Eight? Yeah, it's, it's something like that. Why is it even called goats? There was a North American contenders team that played goats in contenders and absolutely dominated. And they were called goats and they popularized this comp. So it was always called the Goats Comp. Fun fact, um, the Goats team has a lot of the names that you would know these days. Uh, I can't remember exactly who was on that team at that point, but Gator was the main tank of that team. Now the grab comes in. The Vancouver Titans need some kills out of this. 
Once again, like you say, like Vancouver Titans went first. Yeah, Violet didn't have to use Transcendence because of how, yeah. And like this, this, this is a prime example. All right, let, let me use this as an example of why I, of what I said. The team that has control and the team that has to go initiate first is generally the team that is at a disadvantage. So if you're engaging, you have to go in with an advantage in some capacity, right? So what's going to happen here is the Titans are going to want to stop the cart and they feel like they have the advantage on the high ground. But well, I think Soumin is going to grab first again. So uh, Rascal's going to rally to force the fight. And Somitsu, yeah, Somitsu's going to grab again. And I really don't like this grab timing that Somitsu... He did the same thing on King's Row. Because what I think it does is it... It kind of forces your entire team to go forward, right? Vancouver Titans are like, oh, we've grabbed. We need to go forward into the shock. And it's not like they've isolated anyone. They have to run into the entire San Francisco shock, which has rally armor. So now all of a sudden the team goes, oh shit, we got to go forward. They get themselves grabbed and isolated. Harksel rallies, Twilight Transcends. They overlap the, tran uh, the rally and Transcendence. Shock haven't used anything else. They haven't used their, their Transcendence yet. So all they have to do, wait, wait, wait. Diva Bomb, go aggressive. Super gets low, use your Transcendence. Vancouver Titans don't have anything left in the bank. The only thing they have is a beat, which isn't going to save their lives, right? Because now Moth can also use his, bait, uh, his beat later. Here comes Moth beat to win the fight. Here it comes. Boop. And now Bumper just dies, right? And it's... This is like what people talk about when we're talking about the ult cycles and the value of the little X's and O's. This go, this whole fight goes back to the fact that So Min Su opened the fight. Oh god, So Min Su actually got another grab. Don't make me look bad, So Min Su! No, Rascal's gonna die! Fuck. Oh god! Oh my god, this is chaos. All right, Super gets it. Fire gets another transcendent. And this is why it was stupid. Everyone just got 19 ultimates. But this whole thing was a was a never... It's What's that meme with the dominoes? You know the one where it's like something small happens and then it just like the whole thing just like slowly starts like dominoing effect? That was a whole domino effect of Soumin Su using the grab first and them not getting good value out of it. Using the grab, not getting Violet's transcendence out. Because he used that grab, it forced so many other ultimates out of the Vancouver Titans, but not out of the Shock. And Shock used that to cycle the whole thing through. Obviously, the value of going first is what we just saw, that Somitsu actually got another grab. If the fight goes long enough, then you get the advantage again way later. If the fights go on to last that long. But obviously, that very rarely happens. Unintelligible muttering. What do you mean? This is what listening to my comms in game sound like. I just freak out. Boy, when did you end up in the room? Do you not remember the on the video? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, good deal. Oh, slime. Oh, super got a little too aggressive off that. Alright, so the Titans can hold from here because they're in a pretty good spot. That's a much better grab by uh, Soman Su. Forces out the Transcendence as well. So you take that. Let Bo VOD review. Bo, what do you think about Super? Hey, buddy, I know. I have some head scratches, but if you put your head on the keyboard, I'm not going to be happy about it. Okay, I'm putting my keyboard on my lap. What are you going to do about that now? All right, see now, so now, so now, so now, so now they Twilight they can use the grab. They didn't get enough value out of that grab. So here's so the Vancouver Titans go aggressive with the rally, or is that Shock who used the rally first? Shock really do like rally engaging. They love using the rally to force ultimates out of the other team, and it works, right? So they use the rally, and it forces out so uh, Twilight's transcendence. And then this, I, I swear Sinatra just waited for Twilight to transcend and then grabbed afterwards. That was his like go-to move, his signature move. Wait until Twilight transcends, grab as it's a, the transcendence is about to end so that when it ends, you can kill them all. 
Oh, the B was late as well from Slime. Yeah, and they just use their Transcendence and their B. So they don't have any big ultimate to save them from this next fight. They're going to have to hope this is the world's largest rally. What's the rules of showcastering history? It doesn't exist. I'm sorry. All right, Super with the Ambitious Shatter. Oh, good beat by Moth. That should stem them over to uh, Violet getting Transcendence. Violet should get the Transcendence. Rascal still dies, but yeah, they should be okay. Oh, that Diva Bomb could be big. Sinatra doesn't have Bubble one second. I think they... Oh, Twilight with the Transcendence. Feels bad, man. I think they should hold. I think Shock need to bend back here. They need to bend back a little. Hope that Rascal can get back. Super got another shadow, but it didn't work. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I don't think they were ever getting out of that fight. We can get the YouTube viewers to appreciate the kitties. Sinatra going to be returning with a Graviton Surge. This is the big opportunity. Shock may not get a better chance to close out this map than this one right now. They've got True. To as well, like you said. If this fight does not go their way, they're going to have Trance and Self-Destruct and the Grab. So they got to charge up Sinatra first. They're taking a lot of damage as they hey. approach. Not a lot of cover right now. Sinatra, it. needs to be now careful. Now the Titans know they've only got a small window to try to be aggressive here. Rally there we go. Rally engaged from the San Francisco Shock. The classic. I, yeah, they had to hope that uh, Shock used a lot of ultimates and didn't get much out. Twilight has the transcendence. If the Shock can live to fight, tell the tale and Moth can get to the B. No. Oh, that was actually a really smart shadow. Oh my God. Bumper is literally living on the edge. Wow. That was close. Good counter beat by Moth. That should be it. Looks like they will get their attack done here on Gibraltar. They had to work for it, but they got it. Yeah, that was lucky, I think, for the Shock. They had to take it on that push. Yeah. Otherwise, they could have fallen very far behind in alt economy. So Shock... Was B commonly used for mid to late fight? Yeah, you would generally... Um, B was good against, like, Diva bombs and stuff where everyone's, like, really spread out. But Transcendence was generally better. Like, B doesn't help you in a grab, right? Like... If you beat in a grab, they just kill you through the grab, right? Transcendence was really necessary uh, if you were going to go for the grab. Um, but it, it it had like multiple uses and was very like variable. I think it was like very determined, like it was very random almost. It, there wasn't as like cookie cutter as other ones. Give cat back. The cat left. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So this was this was known as the car wash. Uh, this was generally where people held uh, on on Gibraltar. You would hold in this basement because you had a mega health pack to play around. And it just becomes an absolute cluster heck in here uh, when when the teams drop because it's literally you just slam your head against each other and just hope you come out on top. Oh, Bumper just gets himself bashed and booped. Good play by the Shock. Moth and Rascal. Super sniffed the hand warmers. Aren't they, like, toxic? <laughs> oh, my God. They've split off Bumper. <laughs> oh, that was a good engage. But, yeah, Violet's going to get Transcendence first. Yeah, they get Twilight. Winning the first fight is like such an important thing. Like just that one pick off on Bumper created, it's another domino effect, right? That one pick on Bumper leads to them having transcendence first because they pseudo won the first fight. So now they're in an advantage. And now they're going to spawn camp with Rascal's Rally, right? They're going to use Rascal's Rally and try and hope that they can out sustain Twilight's transcendence, right? It's about just like trying to get as much value out of your ultimates now that you're a disadvantage of the ultimate. All right, so Rascal Rally. So they're trying to get Twilight's Transcendence out as fast as they can. Good grab by Sominsu because they don't have the Transcendence. But there's, once again, no follow-up for Sominsu's grab. I think Sominsu needs to do a better job of, like, isolating one target. He's just grabbing the group and no one can get aggressive enough. Because Haxel's Rally is not up yet. 
So Huxel uses his rally, so now they have the advantage. But Violet is... Look at Violet's ult charge in the top right here. He's getting dangerously close to another Transcendence. If he gets his Transcendence again, Shocker in advantage again. Because Sinatra uses the grab. Twilight has to use his... Good shatter. Good counter shatter. Violet gets the Transcendence. So we're in a never-ending loop, right? So Rascal, once again, also almost has this... Um, uh, has this rally up again. The D the beat gets used to counter the Diva Bomb, as I said. Because you're all really spread up and it gives you temporary he health hit points, it generally saves most people from the bomb unless it's like in your face. But this is fine. You take this fight if you're the San Francisco Shock, right? That's a spawn camp in which they, they used every single ultimate and you're coming... Oh, Rascal, no! Oh, that if Rascal saved that rally, they were in such a good spot. Because they just come back with their own rally and they can like fight. Now look at the shock, they're in trouble. Rascal keeps the rally, so Minsu has the grab, and the shock don't have anything to deal with this. They probably lose the first point for almost free now because he used that rally. Because if Rascal has the rally, they might have to commit more things to this first point. And even if they lose it, it'll probably cost them a transcendence, a grab, and maybe the rally. Are you surprised with how little grabs are eaten compared to the rate in which they're built? Uh, it's actually something that Divas weren't very good at until teams got further into the game. Right? It's one of the reasons Divas got so good at eating grabs. I think around stage 3 they got better and better, but it's also the most important thing to remember is that it was such a nightmare. These fights were an absolute chaos. That it was very hard for divas to get on top of the Zayas. And if you were if, if you were a diva and you were close enough to the Zaya, you probably are gonna get beamed. So there we go. That was the first point lost because they didn't have the ultimate cycle. Once again, they still don't have the rally. Like because if you don't have the So one of the big reasons that I say snowballs are such a big problem in GOATs is if you don't have the ultimate and you screw up your ultimate cycle. What's going to happen is that you don't get an effective fight. So San Francisco Shock lost that first point fight without even getting close to any other ultimates, right? The Titans got a lot of ultimates, but the Shock didn't. And that's why it can snowball against you so fast. Good shatter by Super, though, which should stem the bleeding in this situation. On the chase down. Shock does that. like to use gravitons to clean up fights a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. That is a hallmark of Sinatra's style of Zarya play, but they're not going to dedicate it right there. Titans also standing strong as soon as they lose that fight. And really, it's a great shatter because Shock should not have had that opportunity at the start of that fight. And they win Who's the best character to isolate in Goats? Generally, Brig. Oh, nice, Boop. By the Diva. Uh, generally, Brig is the most isolatable target. Or the Reinhardt, obviously, because you have so much damage. But the problem is the Reinhardt is obviously hard to kill. Is Super going to live? Why are we fighting an Ultspawn? Sinatra clutch bubble, yeah. 70% no uh, ult charge to the next grab. They melt so uh, so many sweet. Uh, something that we haven't like really talked about is that how valuable Discord is. The communication from the Zenyatta in Goats was super key because whoever had the Discord was pretty much the only person who could die. For the most part, it was generally on the Reinhardt. This is a good fight win by uh, Vancouver Titans. Are they going to win with just a beat? They get Twilight, which is nice, but this might be able to... This is probably the second point, right? Keep in mind, the Shock are going to have an opportunity here to come back and defend again. But Titans hold on to the Graviton Surge. They've got a lot of ults, nearly six coming into this next fight. Shock will have five coming in. They're, it's going to be a 5v6 potentially too because Twilight is not there. He's still coming back from spawn. Oh, good grabs. Grab on grab action. Shout out. I don't know what's happening. I can't tell you what's happening. Vancouver Titans is winning. That's what's happening. Despite being a bit short-handed there, still win the fight easily. Yeah, and that's... The ra they were able to sustain through the grab with the just the rally, which was big. It's just uh, too hard to engage in if, if you're the San Francisco Shock. Yeah, 
<laughs> now he's going back to the other one. <laughs> it's, been a it's been a rough couple minutes for Twilight, but the good news is that he's going to have his transcendence for the Titans, and so that'll be another key. Oh, he's very good at analyzing goats. Some would say the best. Yeah, and Shock, they've got to engage here. With All right, so Shock have the rally. They're going to engage with the rally as, the, as they do. Right now. Yep. You see the same thing. Titans trying to take that edge with a self destruct. All right, stun on Toyabin. Twilight using that transcendence. Vancouver didn't really get much out of that. Probably going to be a bit of a standoff here while someone gets grab. Oh, Soman Sue, way too aggressive. Ooh, good shout out by Bumper to cover that. Oh, Super's in trouble. Alright, there goes the Violet Transcendence. Soman Sue should be able to get the grab out of this. Did they not have anything to, for that grab? Oh yeah, he didn't have the rally yet. Yeah, that was that was on a nice edge by Shock. Only a minute remaining in the time bank, and the Titans starting to sweat a bit here. I mean, that was a lot of investment from the shock, though. Certainly much more than they wanted to spend. They had to use the. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about Sinatra. Right. I kind of disagree. We're gonna watch and enjoy the goats and enjoy the thing. Please do not detract from that. We're gonna have that sound barrier in a rally again soon, but they gotta be so careful with Titans already having the Graviton Surge online. Regardless, less time for the Titans. Rally, that whole super is dead. Yeah, see, this is the prime example of why go to, uh, by, why uh, rally and beat cannot save you through grab. If you get uh, if you get grabbed and you're just like in the opposition team, wow, good tracking. You're just gonna get rolled. For the Vancouver Titans in this situation is that they still have a lot of ultimates available for that final push. Yeah. Boy, could 1v12 the Titans and Shock? He already has. Well, Slime's beaten in the grab and mistake. You can look at it in play. Like, you can obviously, like, armchair analysis and be like, oh, yeah, obviously it was a mistake um, because they died. But there are worlds in which if he had beat, he, he might have saved people, right? So that's why it's kind of hard to say that. Titans get it done. They are gonna Bo is too smart for goat. <laughs> get a minute on the clock, and an additional minute is added. Twilight on that. Would think that just to take a look at the composition. We'll see if there's any surprises from the shock. There won't be. So he'll probably switch right back to Zenyatta. Who kind of got screwed by Roll Up? Ah! He, he was a great. He should. He needed to be the good DPS player. Oh man, he's so lucky. He got away. If he would have been DMX. That would have been a disastrous, disastrous start for Shock's defense. Oh, yeah, come over here, so, I could, so, I, so the camera can see. And not only, but that also bought them a lot of space. So really yeah. smart play from the Titans. They're using their Lucio speed boost. Shock gonna hide under the pass here. All right, they're gonna, we're gonna go into the car wash again and just freak out. Yeah, they, they, they kind of isolated. They did a good job of like isolating some of the players in the Shock. Gonna be a lot of distance. Gonna shamelessly be farming cats for views, yeah. No, absolutely team. shamelessly. If you want to see more cat content, make sure to like and subscribe on the video. I promise there'll be more cats in the next one. Right, Bo? Three and three, and then the collapse on the flank does it. Shock may not have an opportunity to defend here at the end of A, considering Rascal just spawned. I mean, they might not have a graviton surge at the end of A as well. Sinatra's still a ways away. Summon Sue a little bit closer here. We're in overtime though. If, if the Titans are pushed off the payload, oh, and that's a good shatter from Bumper to start things. Thank you very much, money. Out of it. Super and Choyobin, though, a bit low. Grab comes in from Soman Sue. There's Rascal going down to the charge from Bumper. One second. Bumper gets Rascal, pins him again. Oh! Yeah, Shock should be able to hold this. Shock's, Shock's out of... Oh, Moth needs to get this beat. Moth, get the beat. Moth, get the beat. Oh, big Moth beat. Yeah. There was potential that it could be lost if they didn't have the beat, but he got it. Ryo Dogza with 100 bits. As a Shock fan watching this in the bar, let's just say I pissed myself more than twice. This was a crazy series. Like, but honestly, it was just a treat watching these two, te these two teams play in the 2019 season. They were both incredible. You can tell that the Shock's game plan is to move the Graviton triple stand right in front. yeah tonight by luxuring at the win yeah with so much more time in the bank for the shock there and like it's, it doesn't matter how much you hate goats or you don't like the meta you can't disagree that watching these two teams slug it out was some of the best overwatch we ever watched the titans got it in their round just a moment ago if they can push it that far they will win the map that's all the farther they need to go and we will see the titans fall back immediately not like the shock who's tried to defend 
more forward on that first point and uh, try and deal with it here. They're going to try and loop around and pick off somebody. They take over the cover, so that's a good advantage for the Shock right there. Oh, Pumper, that's a better advantage, taking out the enemy ma main tank. How much can they follow up on Slime? Uh, it's going to be so tough. into the server room, the rest of the team. Oh, no. That's a really bad death. By Pumper. Like, th th this goes in my thing. It's like, how do you engage? Oh, good boot by Moth. This was, I loved this spot. This was such a fun spot. You would play in here. The first person to walk out this door gets booped. So Minsu, such an important pick. Genius. Big plays by Moth. They tried, but losing bumpers so early hurt so much. That said, super move. Johnny gets demacked, and there goes Slime. So, again, the shock just are not going to be denied. GG. That's going to be the map. And the San Francisco shock tie up this series. Bumper fed so hard. Yeah, live by the bumper, die by the bumper. Roaring back at Dragons in the quarterfinals. Right. But, and there is a big asterisk on this. The, the way they lost were the Shanghai Dragons were playing a lot of Aura and Sombra, which is not something we're likely to see the Titans do. So, this is not the the loss that the Shock faced is not the reason why they could lose on this map of the Titans in a 3-3. Yeah, might be a bit of a, a misread here from the Titans, but hey, if they can win the map, they can win the map. We'll see what they can do. I think their coaches know that. <laughs> I, be, they must be confident in other ways. I would imagine. I don't think you ever lose confidence. All right, how did the Titans get here so much faster? Like, what just happened? Oh, so Shock went main? Why did they go main? Did they think they were gonna meet? Did they? <laughs> Vancouver Titans in chat, yo, go main, you wouldn't, pussy. And then Shock's like, oh, we should go main. And then Vancouver Titans go to the high ground. And Shock's like, oh, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Here we go. Shock brings a fight to the high ground. Someone who drops down for his own safety. They're going to see that high ground. Point unlocks in about five seconds here. Bumper gets some last Dishonest last team. Look at that. Before they start fighting over the sink, King of the Hill style. Oh, wow. Shock are going to bump each other. All slimes down as well. The first of all, all the resources used on the bumper. And that's going to leave their supports exposed. Shock will take the point first. Yeah, and they're just going to push them back as well. So very deliberate high ground push there by the San Francisco Shock. Bumper gets jumped out early. A lot of teams played Anagotes in stage three. Um, somewhat in the playoffs is that Bumper has been falling. Not that much. Dying a lot because of how aggressively he plays. If you pose a lot more back goods around him, you can get a lot of advantages. Shock are going to take that advantage right there because even though he wasn't the first to fall. Dan Vancouver management screw over. Yeah, we talked about it in the last VOD. I don't really want to talk about it too much, but yeah, kind of. It's a bit of both. This is so hard to get the point back because like, how do you, like, you can't predict the dodge. Oh, so Violet Transcendence. Oh, they use Rally and Transcendence at the same time. It's a good grab. Yeah. Oh, they're not. Oh, they got Twilight. I think that grab might have been a little bit too early. Oh, good shout out by Super. I think the thing that Super does better than Bumper here is that Super just is happy with isolating like one or two targets with his, with his shatter. Well, it feels like Bumper tries to go for the Hail Mary into Super Shield way too much. Definitely the best high ground Zarya in the league. Loves to take those aggressive positions and those angles. And because there was so much damage coming into the Titans, forced the early transcendence to keep them up. That meant that Sinatra had the opportunity just to drop down and grab. No heal. Oops, sorry. Healing behind them. Shock with the easy win. But this is where it can turn, Doa. It's a self destruct only. Shock need to buy time with the self destruct to get some other ultimates back online and make sure Summon Suit doesn't get a good grab. They can use it as a counter grab tool. We'll see what Choi decides to do. Either way, they're going to be in like one point, one fight territory if they lose this to come back and reclip it and win the round. We'll oh, good grab. I actually really like that grab because it isolates super a lot. There's a good Diva Bomb by Choi though, right? Like, oh, nice bomb by Johnny. Right. Choi loves to throw the Diva Bomb when a grab is thrown. If he doesn't eat it, he just throws it. And it, I feel like that's given Shock such an advantage because it feels like they're never able to capitalize on the grabs. Oh, good eat by Johnny on Sinatra's grab. We haven't seen many of those in this series. Oh, this Shadow could be big. Or save it. Yeah, I think you just, I think you just drop it. <gasps> no way, Moth lives. Okay, yeah. Wait, where are you going? What are you doing? Violet falls, even with Bumper going down as well. They flip the point. They're getting control percent. It was messy, but the Titans have the point at the moment anyway. I mean, you look at that and you really want that sound barrier back from Moth. There oh, yeah. was no uh there was no self-destruct coming in to really avoid. The self-destruct came in after the sound barrier had faded away, and that resulted in a nice. I jinxed it, yeah. So 
right. little bit of miscommunication. The grand right. to self-destruct used defensively simultaneously. You don't like to see that if you're a Shock fan. If Shock do not have a lot coming back into this fight, right? Like, this is going to be a really hard first fight. I guess Vancouver don't have a lot, but they have the transcendence at least. Oh, that was forced out very early. The Shock can just disengage from that. They're in a pretty good spot. They need to just wait out the transcendence. Once they get a Gravenage... Oh, okay. Once they get a Gravenage transcendence, they're in a good spot. They just can't die before they get this Graven transcendence. Oh, no. Okay, they're gonna live. Oh, okay. Yeah, they got it. They got it. That was very close. That was... That was very close. Ooh, Slime almost got the boot. That would have been a big... That actually would have been a big play if he got it. How was old tracking responsibility divided between goats? It generally was, it was decided, like, generally it changes from team to team. Like, you never know uh, which teams are going to be playing, who's going to be calling for what. Uh, main supports in general were tasked with tracking the most, the Lucio player. It's usually the Lucio and the main tank. Like, the main support and the main tanks have always generally been the most... Uh, consistent coolers because DPS players and other players don't always see the way that everything else is being played out. Was Bap not in the point of this game? Uh, Bap, well, I don't know if he was in it yet. I don't know if Shock had started playing their Bap goats yet. Good counter pin by Super. That was super important. Pun intended. That rally's big. Ah, uh, so Minsu down though. He's like all their damage. Janu's on Diva. Oh, uh, sorry, on Wrecking Ball. Oh, that almost hit pinned like three people, but he didn't get anyone. I think it was stage three. I think he was. Uh, who did BAP replace? Uh, the Brick, of all things. What the, what the BAP provided you is it allowed your team to play from distance a lot more effectively. So it made it that you were never really the initiator and you would just play back and force them to come into you. It was really good against DPS comps and teams that weren't as coordinated in terms of closing the distance. They did it a lot on like Temple of Anubis where they would just sit on the high ground because you would get windows so quickly. Right Bap healed a fuck down. Yeah, Bap was really strong. Dude, look at how low the Titans are. They're just getting poked out better. Like the the the, the healing from the shock is just better. On the point, neither team wanting to give ground. Twilight. I think it's the Zaya damage, right? Like, I think Sinatra's getting more damage in. But they're both chilling now. Oh, we're about to get... Who's ready for a 12 alt fight? Because you're about to get a 12 alt fight. Oh, Super got way too aggressive. Violet doesn't catch him. That's not good. Oh, they're gonna go for it? Yeah, that always... Yeah, you take that if you're... This is much better for Vancouver. Rascal, do not pop that rally. Ah, there he goes, yeah. Thing Slab moved him in. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta be ready for that, right? Yeah, and that's the big one, Noah, because there is no trance now, because Violet used it just... 12Q. That was a late Q by your boy Violet. Maximum value out of that transcendence. While on the other side, super with the Graviton Surge, there's no, they're going to have to use the sound barrier to defend against Soman Su's grab now. It's going to be real tricky here for Shock on the retake. Maybe they can get an epic shatter from Super. Right. Super at half health, though. They need to give him a little bit of healing before he gets aggressive here. They're going to catch him in the Graviton Surge. All right, Troy Hoven bomb to cover the grab again. Not going to find it. Just had to hold that shield since the self destruct was coming in as well. Super swinging away. Ooh, he wants to flank. Sinatra's almost in another grab. Oh my god. He's crazy. Oh. Didn't get anyone. Nobody knocked down with that shatter, though. So it will be shock flipping this point. Just a great heads up play from Super. That's why he's one of the best. And you can see the mind games there. Super shatters. And because you see Bumper thinking he's going to charge, so he charges perpendicular to him yeah. but he doesn't take the bait that's the mind game right there he's not actually charging the rest of his teammates are coming around the other side Ryan there's no barrier there's no barrier there for the rest of his teammates 
That uh, becomes a team fight win for the San Francisco Shock. Well, Slime and Twilight have their support ultimates at least, but it's not going to take very long for Moth to equalize. So. San Francisco in a good... Okay. So now just got the grab. We got the transcendence. I think Shock just plays this fight incredibly slow, right? If you're the Shock, you don't need to take this fight. You have the point. You want this fight to go as long as possible. I think you play a little slow. If they overstep, you use ultimates. But if not, yeah, you just chill, right? Oh, the rally is a problem, actually. They're going to need to use a defensive ult. Oh, actually, they're going to be able to peel away. Oh, this is really bad for Vancouver. Oh, good grab onto Sinatra. But the Transcendence comes out. Rascal Rally to sack on top of it. Oh, the grab. That's... The beach is not enough. Oh, my God. It's enough. Oh, God. Sinatra's dead. Oh, wow. Vancouver played this fight really well. They did a good job seeing as they... they it cost them the rally to get into this fight. Dude, Rascal almost has another rally. Bumber nearly has another shatter here. If he can live long enough to use it. Yes, a duck back around the corner. Shatter time. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. We're pausing. I know this is a hype moment. I want to see how fast Rascal gets this rally. So, the grab goes off. Rascal's rally runs out now, okay? And we're at 57%, okay? 57% when Rascal's rally runs out. Sinatra dies. He got 50% in 10%. He's at 75. He got it in 22% of a control point. That's how fast he got rally. Just 20 seconds. It's ridiculous. Oh, that was ambitious. Sure, you can't do that nowadays. You can't do it. You can get it quick if you're like getting proper uptime and that kind of stuff, but you would never get it that quick, I don't think. Maybe more. I love that swap. Way. I love that swap because you can clean this up and get an EMP to make sure you close. Yeah. You get there faster. Very good. Very solid. And it's just clean up. All the response coming in for the Titans, and they're not going to be able to turn this fight around. And that is going to be the second control map this series that the San Francisco Shock have won 2 0. There we go. That's huge, Doha. Yeah, because the thing what is, was it Glad's insane bring? He did it pretty quick, but I think it was like 30 seconds or something like that. So, which was impressive in its own right, but it's it ain't that one was 20 seconds, right? 10 seconds is a lot of time. Fantastic showing from them. 43, I don't, yeah, I don't. Oh, it was a 43 second rally. Yep, yeah. 43 seconds. Come on, what a joke. We do that. We do that in 22. Yeah, let's go. Watching Trash. Didn't have a good bat player, just unlucky. How do teams deal with that? Well, the thing about it is a lot of the players who were playing Brig didn't have great hit scan players. And a lot of people, when BAP was released, everyone was playing GOATs already. So people didn't really want to play too much BAP because it, it felt like if you didn't play normal GOATs, you would lose. So a lot of teams didn't put a lot of time into learning BAP. And you know, that's why you don't see him too much other than uh, in stage four. A lot of people tried to replicate the San Francisco Shock BAP goats, but they couldn't do it anywhere near as effectively. This is before the old global uh, nerf, I believe. You can draw on for sure. Shock now going to be coming in around the outside. Three threes for both teams, no surprise. Yeah, as you said, it completely changes the old cycles. You no longer have rally. You have to completely change the way you play. Oh, they get violent. This was this was like the most classic thing ever on this point. Oh, brrrr. They're going to get Rascal? Oh, they got him. That's really bad. That's going to be a stagger. And that will give Bumper enough time. He's already back on the... Yeah, this, this point was so stupid because here's what would happen. The defensive team would just stand up here. And then you, at some point you have to cross. And they get, that gives them the jump of they get to jump down on you. And your Zenyatta player died like 100% of the time. 
considering it was a five versus five nearly immediately and shock did have that respawn advantage like oh my gets whipped oh my god like look at how low they are just before they even get close and the zaya just stays up here beaming what do you do against it right yeah dollar says it literally you just shoot at them and then as soon as they get too close you just jump on them on their attack use the three three into the titans 3-3 defense was by coming up the route you're seeing right now it was by knocking them off the high ground first and then rotating all the way around the all right shock have ults now at least that the payload goes through so they were trying to avoid a lot of the high ground advantage that the titans would have shock are not doing that they're not repeating the pathing of the nyxl that led to a successful point a attack oh, they're, yesterday they're repeating the pathing they've been doing the entire time here now the graviton surge comes in Counter Counter oh, okay. oh. Rolled. What happened there? Bumper just doesn't get his shield down? Yeah. I think Bumper... What was Bumper doing? I don't know why he didn't... Ex MTD. He threw a fire strike? No, he threw in general. More like it. Shock, dude. It was looking like they may have been heading into full hold territory, but let's take a look at this one again. Watch the right. graviton from Sinatra as well. So that gets thrown it at the same time, and oh. they find the the moment on the button. It's just lucky. <laughs> I mean, you know that Reinhardt is going to be walking in and swinging his hammer, and Super just not wasting any time, taking advantage of the aggression of Bumper. Good one, Casa. Thanks, Can Spaghet. I I appreciate that one. Now. All right. It's still a Titan's advantage, though. They held on to a lot of their ultimates, but they died so quickly. Yep. Oh, good beat by Moth. Gives them a bit of time, right? Oh, Moth don't die. No, Moth! And there's a shadow there as well by Bumper. Okay. Things really falling apart in a big way for Shock. And that's big. That's really big for the Titans because now they're going to get to have a great defensive position with an ultimate. That was pure instinct. Oh, yeah, no. He, I think he just didn't. He saw that the Reinhardt wasn't there and he started shattering. Then the Reinhardt turned the corner. Team was not expecting it. The he didn't die. <laughs> His team died though, Liz. That's did not expect the sound barrier to come through. So communication error and Titans will reap massive benefits out of that. It's just like a free old free old advantage, pretty much. Yeah, so Shock need to hope they get value. Oh yeah, they just think you're transcendence for this. That's not bad. Rascal should get a rally soon here as well, right? Raw bumper. I right, force their own transcendence. Might be a little early. Oh, he got the slime though. That was a good grab. That was a great grab. Got, got someone. I mean, both of these teams are. You didn't say team don't die. That's true. That's true. On forced support ults. Both of these fights now have had early support ultimates that have been used, and it's been the counterplay, the reaction from the other team that has catalyzed victories in these team fights. Sinatra there, he had a big punish off of the early trance. Pretty much. Now you get a lot of distance if you're San Francisco Shock. Uh, as far as ultimate Shock have all the positioning now, and they have a rally. And Violet's almost at another transcendence. Look at that. Hot diggity damn, dude. Oh, dangerous. Yeah, and that's sort of what I was saying. But like, I think Super's just using his shadow better, right? Like, he's just waiting until there's an opportunity. Right? Oh. <laughs> I was just praising you, Super. What are you doing? <laughs> Why did he pin? Oh, that's really bad. Ah, uh, that might, that was a little bit of a troll by your boy, Super. That's going to be hard to recover from as well. Like, they used both of their support, all of their support ultimates in that fight. Just stacking support ults right there on a fight that was already lost. Sound barrier in late. So they lose the fight and use both support ultimates. That's so Okay, bad. it's fine. Recoverable. Now, they're going to have that Graviton surge. It should be an easy win. And with only 90 seconds left... Super has definitely been the better Reinhardt in this uh, in this series, though. Straight up. Grab. So Grab. Yeah, it's just free. Like, that's the problem with using all of your support ults. You just lose a fight for free. And then So Min Su can just charge another grab. Are they going to go... No, they can't go for this one. So you can see them backing off very quickly. Trans He's mind gaming bumper, yeah. So this is Good be thinking. Really problematic, I think, for the shock. Can Violet charge up a trance fast enough? It's probably going to be the major question because ideally for the shock, you pull out the trance with the graviton surge, and then you try and win the what happens afterwards with your own trance. Right. 
So there's a very tight window here for the Shock to take this point. All right, the Shock need to get something done. They need to get it done now. Look at the look at the bubble discipline from Sinatra here, by the way. Violet, and they can hold that for quite a long time. Violet needs this trance. Bumper has a shadow. Making sure he doesn't waste them, right? Like, cause wasting bubbles was a big thing with Bad's eyes in in the in the league. The timing was so important. Oh, Hawksaw just gets zapped. Do you get the deal? Yeah, you take that, right? Like, that's a good grab. Wait, what? Super didn't use his shield? Oh, wow. How did nobody die to that? Hawksaw goes down, though, with the rally. Slime's got beat. Is he going to cop it? There he goes. Oh, they just don't have enough value. Titans are running out of steam. Twilight needs to get this transcendent. Super needs to die. Oh my god. Oh, Twilight dies. Okay, that's it. It's over. A shark constantly fighting with a player advantage, and they are able eventually to bend it to their will. I don't know how they Bye, Hoxel. Dude, Hoxel's on respawn simulator right now. Yeah, keeping super alive, massive, but the shark are very good at keeping super up. Super plays a more passive style where he will start retreating when he gets low, and they save their cooldowns a lot of the time to save super. Happens again there. Sinatra, he's trying to build up to that grab. Sumitsu very far away from a graviton of his own right now. He saw average energy 72%. That's insane for Azaria. That's a ton of Roscoe Rally? Yeah, this is going to be a... This is a problem because they just lose the fight. for. for oh, my God. He's going to get a grab. Here comes the grab. Oh! But it's on the cart. No, the cart is the enemy team. You don't grab. <laughs> oh, Choi! In Choi, we trust to save the game. Oh, good shatter again by Super. Oh my God. Choi diff. Zaya does so much damage, and that's why people are like, "Oh, does Zaya ever get taken out?" Zaya is the damage dealer of this comp. You need the Zai. If you don't play one, you just lose. Like, it becomes almost impossible to kill anything. Plus, obviously, Graviton is a very important ultimate, and you get him so fast. Oh, Moth dies to that? Oh, Moth got uh, down there, right? I, I, I thought he was behind the wall. He got shattered in the corner, yeah. All right, they're going to hold. The Titans hold. So despite the heroics, the Titans still do stop them short of completing the attack. Run. All right. Yep. It's not a bad push. Not a bad push. To get quite to the end for the Titans to take the win here on Blizzard World. High fives on the shock side. Decent push. Nothing extraordinary. Well, you put yourself in a position. Sorry. You put yourself in a position. All right. Here we go. I like to play low ground defenses here on Blizzard World. Which one is a better match, stage one or stage two? Uh, stage one. I think it was more competitive. I think stage two was a better, like the, the teams were better, but. When they played yesterday against the Excelsior. No bumper Hanzo this time. Much to the sadness. No Bumzo? What's the point? Interesting. Shock's going to give him the space here. Okay with that. I think you're probably okay. So Summon Sue going to. Is it interesting? All right. A little bit of flanking here from the. It's a low energy Zarya, so it's going to be a little tickle. I mean, right now. He's, he's tempting the shock to collapse. Was his defensive grab build one of his yeah, fastest the in the stage? I'm not sure. Yeah. They're not going to take the bait, though. Nope. But now the Titans have muscled their way onto the points. So oh, they got the point. Oh, this ain't great. Yeah, they are not doing so hot right now. Oh, wow, that was a really get big kill. Violet diff, baby. Roller coaster or uh, behind a house or something like that. Murloc Island, nowhere is safe from Violet. He's got his transcendence now, too. He's in great shape. Right, so not your micro, I built two grabs this fight. Yeah. So far, you have to, you have to admit. Even if you are a Titans fan, Violet has been dominating. It's helped that he's had very little pressure on him, but considering that he's been given a lot of space, he's created right. big plays in this series. Violet was a lot better in this one. Yeah, Violet's been dominant. He's been getting so many big picks. I think he's been the better Zen of the day. 
We'll see how aggressive they want to do because Shock has a big ult advantage. Right Is he going to grab? Oh, I thought he was going to grab that Zaya for a second there. Corners looks like they're going to try and take this high ground. They know Sinatra has the graviton right now. Some and soon nearly matching. They drop back down. Yeah, all right. Interesting. They take the high ground. Oh, good boot by Moth. Gets them off. Rally used later for the Shock. All right. That's okay. Grab comes in from the Titans. Shatter not getting a whole lot. Oh, good grab. A oh, bumper might die. Ooh, he gets all the healing. Keeping him alive with the transcendence. Now the Titans need to strike back. They've got two ticks already. They've nearly got point A taken. They both only have beat left. Time to go. Reengaging both teams using that Lucio to get the extra shots. Oh, the bomb. Oh, Roscoe almost said Violet. The counter self destruct super play. And they finally break through here. Oh, another grab? Yeah, another grab Wait, Sinatra. how long? How, how quick? Versus two Wait, how quick was that grab? Two o, two o two. Okay, two o two is the time. Let's watch Sinatra. They've got two ticks already. They've nearly got point A taken. All right, sound barrier shock. Re-engaging both teams using that loose. Fifty percent. Bumper so low, but he's gonna oh, throw off the Janu. The counter self-destruct super the play. And they fight. Twenty-two second grab. Woo! Finally break. That's pretty good. Another grab. Yeah, grab That's crazy. And are you kidding two me? Two two. Sinatra. Still alive. Sinatra makes that three. was straight up a Sinatra carry. Wow. Crazy. And that's why he was the MVP in season two. Best eye of all time for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, Simon Sue's right there as well, right? Like, it's not like... But that's like the difference, right? Like, the seconds mattered in GOATs, right? Like, getting that little bit of extra damage, squeezing that little bit extra out is the difference. Oh, don't throw this grab. I feel like he's just going to yeet it at him. Oh, Sinatra down. Violet. Not a transcendence yet. Oh, 95. Oh. Yeah, and they were so... Shock was so close to a lot of ultimates there. It's fine. They get the grab, trance, and rally out. Thank you, had to commit a lot to that because they need to win that fight. So the Titans will get a chance to get that payload going. Shock nearly had it. They've still got a good chance to defend this one. I mean, absolutely. They have an excellent chance right now. Shock are coming in with an advantage into this next fight. I mean, the Titans had to just throw everything at that to make sure that they weren't going to fall. Violet now has the transcendence up super nearly there at a graviton. And so this should be a choke fight win here for the shock unless the Titans can pull out. Oh, that brig is close. Oh, nice shatter. Nice pin. Oh, he didn't get the person he wanted, but you take. Oh. That was a big shatter. Yeah, I think Super has gotten way more. I would love to have seen the numbers of number of people shattered in this game. Because I think Super would be doubling bumpers. Bumpers numbers. Did so many have a lot of hype out of contenders? The entire Vancouver Titans team had a lot of hype coming out of contenders. Sound barriers up for both teams. Sinatra doing a ton of damage from this high ground as well. This roasting the Titans as they try to push forward. Now Bumper getting aggressive. They've got someone to grab. They're going to use it. Sinatra will he counter grab? We will see. He's going to do it. So this might be the time to save it. They're going to try. Oh, actually, Choi is so out of position. Sinatra. Time to save it. What? Oh, he tried to grab slime. I actually remember this. He tried to grab slime and just whiffs it. That wasn't even close. I think he... Maybe if it got the Lucio, it would have been worth. Like, it might have been worth, but... tragic for the shock. Sinatra thought they were pursuing and yeah. that he was going to catch him on the corner, but the Titans... Vancouver Titans is not our level as fanboy triggering as it seems. Wait, who said that? Someone, I remember someone said that and it like... That is, that is really bad because look at the Titans. Five ults, nearly six ults. I remember that was a meme throughout that entire thing because they came and just started dominating. You look at that time and you might say, well, the Titans have to win every fight. But the, th the thing right now is they can. They can. Nene Grav is such a big dick playable time. It's such a, uh, uh, it's such a shame he gets memed. It literally like people, people like say that like all these, like these big grabs and these people that with the moments, like the reason these moments happen is because these people are taking a risk and those risks are what win you championships and win you games. 
Just because it doesn't pay off every time doesn't make it a bad play. Especially with how consistently they usually hit them, right? Stone Cold Killer, yeah. Oh! Wait, how did that Ryan not die? Did he get pulled into the grab? Oh my god, I have no idea who's winning this fight. It's all over the place. Oh, Slime's out of position. Oh my god, Shock actually won that. That was crazy that they held that. They won that without a transcendence, a transcendence or a beat. Yeah, that's crazy that they won that fight. They have so many ults now as well. Rascal's rally somehow kept them all alive. The copy pasta. The slime down, had to touch. As soon as your Reinhardt has to switch to ball, it's over. There's no winning that. Whoa. <laughs> Some questionable shatters from time to time on this map from your boy Super. There it is. Oh, look at how sad they are. Oh, Troy loses his glasses. Runaway now is not our level, as fanboy triggering as that sounds. People love them for their underdog streak and their vibrant brand slash personality, but expecting them to pick up, to get picked up is very unrealistic. They still have to actually win something first. At the same time, I'd honestly advise Flavin to sell Bumper, Stitch, and Huxel and then rebuild. Those buyouts money can help Runaway for a few more season. Trash team. Confirm. <laughs> That was a crazy, it was a good series, but San Francisco Shock absolutely deserved this championship. They were the better team. Uh, absolutely incredible. Obviously, like, it's just inches at this point in times. I think the biggest difference in this match was Super on the Reinhardt. Sinatra on the Zaya and, like, Violet on the Zen were better than their counterparts, but not by that much. Not by as much as I think the Rhine dip happened. Yeah, Nevix was on the San Francisco Shock as well, so... Well, that was a good game. And next time they lose to our boy Custer, next we're coming hard and fast. Oh, the respect between those two. The end of the Washington game? All right, perfect. And see the see the trash. Okay, so we're gonna get we, we got a nice little special treat for you guys here. Um, obviously, congratulations to Shock. We're not gonna watch the the ceremony. Uh, let me pick up this. We're going to watch because there's a point like I, awesome. as we always talk about. People love to talk about how great great goats is, right? We always love to be like, oh, Ghost was the best form of Overwatch. Yeah, because all we're thinking about is San Francisco Shock taking on the Vancouver Titans, which had some absolute banger series, just like the one we watched. But now we're going to watch the other hand of Goats, which people, you know, seem to always forget. Or, well, not this map, because this map is legendary. We're going to look at the, San, uh, the Washington Justice versus the London Spitfire at the end. So London Spitfire at the beginning of Goats, because this is stage one, week two, early on. Really early on in Goats before it had been really fleshed out. So we got the Washington Justice and London Spitfire, who in stage one were both pretty duty. Um, dude, look at this Washington Justice team. Does anyone remember this team? What it Janice Sansum, Corey, Fazix, Ardo, Guido? That could get in their heads a little bit. Like I said, I think this is a must-win match for the London Spitfire. Well, I'm down with this opening strat if they stick to it, London. Yes, please. Let's see this. And then we also get a special taste of Semler being like, please don't play goats. I hate it here. I don't want to be here anymore. Please don't play goats. <laughs> The Sombra, the Tracer, the Widow. Semla hated goats with so much of a passion, you could feel it through the mic. And they're going to do it. Okay, so London plays, is playing the Farrah off the bat. London's going to play the, uh, the, the Widow Goat. Yeah, 
It's a great map for Widowmakers too, and we have a Widow on both sides. We oats. We'll see who gets the better of that So one. London's going to go for the bold strategy of giving up the, the, the point. Stepping on it, putting... London's going with the bold strategy of not walking out of spawn and then just giving up the first point. And they're playing Wrecking Ball Lucio Zen with a Sombra. Gesture, big slam. But Dosen got Corey though. Not a guy you can't sleep on him. On Zenyatta, you know, Jonak obviously gets a lot of talk, but Doshin is definitely one of the top Zenyattas in this league. Definitely a good player. It was interesting that where the Justice are hanging out, it's kind of... <laughs> I remember this point. This, this is... The, oh my god. Bro, look what's happening right now. It, don't worry, they waited until Gesture came back, just for that moment. Now some disruption comes from Gesture. Yeah, well played on Gesture's part. Manages to pick him out. Put them out in the open. Nice stun there on the Prophet. He does match to What the heck? Right into the waiting arms of Corey. Why is Corey on Widow? First of all, why is Corey on Widow? Second of all, why is he there? The Tracer and the Summer, that is key when you're running this duo together. They need to work together to pick off these squishies. Oh my god, what am I what is even happening? Alright, Jesh is dead again, trying to roll into the main core. For Washington Justice, though. It's on London now to try and figure it out. London was a little bit split up, and Washington did a good job of identifying that. There was and people, people they're like, like I think this was so hard to believe as well, because London Spitfire were like, they're coming off of the championship win, right? Everyone's super excited to see what London's going to play. So Prophet switches to Farah at 75% ult charge. Birdring switches to Reaper. Fury doesn't have an EMP yet. Jesha finally has the mines. <laughs> Did it, has anyone got an ultimate yet? But Ozen gets Corey though. That's big. Alright. Janus pins Nuss and Birdry. Big EMP. Why didn't Otto rally? Oh, he didn't have it? Oh, he got EMP'd as the as he got rally. Alright. Look at this great game. It, you know what this looks like? This looks like a ranked game. That's what it feels like, you know? Prophet is now gonna switch off of the Farah to Brig. Guys, go Brig. We can totally win this fight if we go Brig. Do know London's well, so they should be and Corey is back on Widow. No, now he's on Sombra. Dude, everyone's in each other's heads. Doshin is holding on to his trance, though, so it's a question of where Doshin is going to be positioned. He's out of the angle right now. Janice wants to get on top of him. But Rally, baby. Just run at him. Carry them forward, and Prophet gets overwhelmed immediately. Great focus fire. Let's go back to point. That's a lot of passive healing. What are we standing around for? Let's go to Go to point. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Alright, Otto kills Fury. Fuzzix gets Bird Ring. Big slam! What, she'll... Janice! <laughs> Oh my god. This is why this is why people hated watching this season. Oh now and we got an ad. To follow up in the middle of this round, we got an ad. Alright, so now we got Washington Justice coming out with Goats, and London's gonna play Tracer Sombra Widow Bull Luciana. London is running the composition a lot of teams are running on this stage. That six Heroes up top has been what a lot of teams prefer, and right there you see Bidochin. Okay, Guido down to an Anna in goats. What was so interesting about how London played last time? They didn't even touch the point or contest early on. I retract my statement about being peak Overwatch. I think stage one was the worst as well, and which lost because no one had really fully. A lot of teams hadn't fully adopted goats yet, so it's just there was so much of this random stuff going on, right? What is the Ana for in this comp? So, the, the entire point of the Lucio Ana comp is to run. They just run away and then heal people. And they just run away from goats. And then the goats is trying to run them down. Like, and here's the stupidity of it, right? Washington Justice just need to go to the point. 
Like, why are you chasing them? What? Why are you running? Why are you running? Just put your diva on the point. Like, you, you don't even need to send your whole team. Just put your diva on the point and just chill there because they can't go. Force them to come to you. You're playing goats. Oh my god. Especially when you're able to get the diva out of mech. Now, who's ever going to be able to contest Bird Ray? Did I miss some amazing Overwatch? No, you're just in time for some amazing Overwatch. Look at this. Are you enthralled? I am. Zip to whatever angle he wants. Not the easiest position. Eventually, however, no, under pressure. And yes, Corey will find the kill on Bird Ring, but he loses half of his team in the process. Washington Justice getting pummeled here on the second. Yay, point. Corey! <laughs> in the fair. Did you guys hear that voice? <laughs> Yay, Corey! Got two! <laughs> All right, don't worry. We almost have an alt cycle coming out from the Washington Justice. Was that record time? Should we go back and track this? No? Okay. And the thing is, I'm memeing London and Washington, but half of the teams in the league were like this, including the Los Angeles Valiant, the team that I was on. Just botting around. Guido still does not have a transcendence. For the London Spitfire and Washington will succeed in flipping the point off the back of a couple of kills. So Washington now the ones with the advantage, at least the edge, and they did a decent job of holding on to Go Sombra Goats eventually. We were okay. Like outside of stage one, we were fine. Like we, we almost actually made it to plans. So, but stage one was just a, it, it was a big old oof. Okay, Fury kills Farzix. I don't even know where Farzix is. Some pressure on the point, but it's not going to matter. Diva gets back there. And I think Corey, we mentioned what Everyone recognized the Titans in shock. Well, that was stage three, right? Yeah. What fantastic D-Matrix though coming through. Guido gonna survive just a while longer thanks to his D.Va's defense. And that's gonna slow things down just a little bit here for London Spitfire. Good heals going out on Sam Sam. Why did he bomb? The self-destruct as well right on the point. Will he had about like half of his health remaining. Kill off the baby D.Va, so no D.Va in play. Duh, what is it? There, I, I don't think there's any team play happening in this game. A great shot. Such a small window when the D.Va self-destructs where she's vulnerable. Oh, that was nasty, actually. Bird ring. Starting to become the bird ring we knew last season. There we go. On the widow, this is what we... Oh, and they give up point. Oh god damn dude. had to go for the rolls his way back into the fight that much quicker and now it's all about just contesting. Well, I just realized were they playing goats without a Zaya? Oh Corey started Zaya. Alright, okay. I was like, I thought I saw a Zaya at some point. Corey was on Zaya, but they gave it up. Alright. So this is the famous point. This is this is I, I this is the one right. We're right about this one. London must switch to goats later. This is the point. Oh my gosh. Like they're playing goats without a Zaya. Like Zaya, I guess like if they if you are anticipating you're not gonna play against goats, then don't play the Zaya. But. Yeah, like Widow. I don't know why Widow Goats was considered a thing. It's just Corey and Bird Ring just agreeing to play Widow. Oh, Bird Ring is popping though. But Justice just the the reason Goats is so strong is that you literally just sustain. Like no one else on the team is doing anything. Was this the beginning of goats? No, that's the sad thing. It isn't. Teams have been scrimming goats for probably the entire preseason. Like they're gonna have the Sombra to scout it. On the other side, there's a Brigida, so you have less info. Alright, Fury's gonna get the MP. No one's taking enough damage for them to get ults. I spread out. Let's get some spread out against this. Go uh, the Sombra EMP is coming. That was a good EMP. How did it hit everybody, including Farzix? How does Farzix get hit by that? It's literally his job to not get hit by this EMP. Like, what? Why are they all standing right there? Like, why? Like, you're, they have EMP. Why is their entire team just standing in the same hallway? All up. 
EMP comes up, grabs a bunch. Oh, beautiful. No D-Matrix there. No dodge on Samsung's part, so he's not going to be able to keep his team alive. I, I lost to this Washington team. You <laughs> smile. <laughs> yeah. And that's the sad reality is like, you go back and watch it, you're like, oh my God. Put up a fight. Nearly gets the rally. He has that online for the next one. So Washington right now should be feeling fairly comfortable. Bird Ring is just such a, a marvelous talent. He's hitting 50% of his scope shots, 20% critical hit accuracy. <sighs> okay, here we go. We got all the ultimates. Here's what you do. If you're the Washington Justice, you got to do this really difficult strategy. Click your rally and then walk to the point. And now you've got him taking out his opposing widow. Press Q! Nice play with the mines right over the top. Somebody! Press a button. As well, he got nanoed into that. It looks like as well. Those should be able to get that off in time. We do have Guido trading it back, however, and Washington. Bruh. All not throwing in the ult. As soon as you see, as soon as you hear the wrecking ball mines go down, you press Q. Just press Q. It doesn't matter if you don't need the value. It's the thing. What made Brig broken is that the armor lasted for a million years. And then London just let them walk to the point? There wasn't a single kill on the London Spitfire. And then the London Spitfire just... Yo, let's go back to... Let's just go back to point. Let's just, let's just go back to spawn real quick. Let's uh, let's switch it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, goats, man. Really the pinnacle of Overwatch, I think. I think everyone was really... It was really the smartest time for everyone. And Corey's still on... Dude, Otto was still not pressed Q. Otto, man. You got this, okay? I'm fo I, I believe in you. The only defensive Q that they've pressed so far was Farzix, who did it in the face of an EMP. Will deny it. Guido gets immediately picked off by Prophet, though, and the kill's coming through now for London. Despite it all, Washington just getting overwhelmed. They made the right choice to switch up their composition. It seems they're still allowing Fury to run wild on this Sombra. Very nice plays from him. And now Washington All right, here we go. It's time, baby. Washington Justice. They got all the ultimates. Here we go, baby. Ardo, I'm gonna I believe in you, buddy. You're gonna press Q and it's gonna be sick. Here we go, here we go. Close distance. We got a bit of hustle. Bit of hustle. Here we go. There we go. Probably still a little late, but here we go. Oh, big kills by Sansam. And Washington have already got the point back. Big plays, big plays. Is this not the point? Or am I... Uh, no, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Fury gets the touch. Big plays. Okay, what, all, what cues have we got coming up? We got Transcendence on either side. Proffer with the rally. That's how you press Q, Otto. Big slam. Okay, Guido uses the transcendence to block the shatter. Not a great play, but it's fine. Okay. Stalling it out. All right, here we go. Someone's going to fight soon. Someone's going to fight. We're going to fight. All right, big grab. Okay. No, okay. No one's dead yet, but someone, like... All right, we got the Corey grab. Corey, hit him with the graviton. Okay, close. Fury gets it, gets it though. Okay, next time. We'll get him on the next cycle. Otto coming up on rally. He's going to press Q as soon as he gets it. I feel it. They're going to fight. Sooner, sooner or later, they're going to fight. Big slam! All right, Transcendence comes out from Bedos and Farzix and Otto. Why did Farzix even beat? Beats to save Sansan, but they're rallying. Okay, it's fine. But we'll, we'll stack them up anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay, positioning. Let's go, baby. Someone's going to die eventually. Janus, where are you going? <laughs> Good job, Janus. Keep it up. All right, Fury Diva Bomb over the wall. All right, doesn't get anyone. Okay, we got Nuss beat. They're going to go aggressive with the beat. Nice. Now they're in trouble. All right, but Guido's got Transcendence again. Here we go. Big slam. Okay, no big slam yet. Okay, but we got Transcendences coming from Guido. Coming soon. Grab! Transcendence. Good job, Guido. No Diva Bomb value from Sansan. We grab. Corey's got another grab. Big grab. Here we go. Oh, 
flawlessly executed. That's how the Washington Justice drew it up. That's how they drew it up. On the second cycle, we're gonna get him. Don't worry. It's always the second cycle. God, I hate goats. Just a reminder to everyone what it once was. It was, it was fun in games when we watched the good people do it. But it, there was, it, it, it didn't always go so great. Hey, I am. Both those teams did improve a lot. Well, London improved a lot. Washington did struggle throughout the entirety of this season. But yeah, that's my history of Overwatch for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, it was a banger of a match. The San Francisco Shock versus the Vancouver Titans. Uh, the next history of Overwatch is probably going to be the Van uh, Vancouver Titans versus the Los Angeles Valiant. Because I got to toot my own horn. Because, uh, you know, what else are we doing here? Okay, so we're going to watch that. Uh, it's really going to be about the introduction of Sombra Goats because we were one of the few teams that really adopted it to counter Goats going into stage three and going on to the future. So uh, we're going to go check that one out. It's going to be an interesting time. We'll have a good time. We'll see the Sandman Kariv in action. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure to like, subscribe. I've had a bunch of you people on YouTube coming to hang out on my Twitch. I would love to see more of you guys. Come hang out. Uh, we play ranked, but we do these lives on 5 p.m. PST on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, I am going to be on a two-week hiatus starting next week. Uh, so uh, after the one that comes out on Friday, I'll be gone for two weeks, but then I'll be back and we'll go and close out the rest of the matches in the history of Overwatch before the next season begins. So thank you very much for watching. Love you all and have a good night.